case break. Today we have, it's approximately three cases, 40 boxes of stadium clubs, uh, stadium club hobbies to open up. We'll give you a quick little look at the setup there. There's a whole bunch of stadium club boxes that we're going to be ripping through tonight. And it is a random team break. So the way this works is there are four different rounds and all of our participants are going to get randomized with the website random.org. We'll mix up all the names. We'll copy and paste those into a document that has the team list there. And then we'll tell you who you got paired up with. Then we'll start to break in, uh, get to break in. So what we'll do first is we'll get all this randomization out of the way so that for the entire rest of the night, we're just going to be ripping cards without any interruption. So let's go ahead and get that part done first. I'm going to bring the computer in here. Hope everybody's having a very nice Wednesday evening. Hopefully you got some cards from Target today. We'll talk a little bit about that if you weren't able to. Um, let's see what we can find going on here. So welcome everybody. We are on random.org right now, as you can see right there. Over here I have a document. It's all the names for tonight, they're all in green. This is break A, the first 10. This is break B, the second 10. This is break C, the third 10. This is the final round, the fourth 10. We just sold out around 6.07, about two and a half hours ago. We finally sold out of all these. I ordered a whole bunch of Stadium Club Blasters. And um, looks like the next break coming up, the next new thing coming out is Museum Collection. As we get the first break randomized for you, let's go ahead and find... The list randomizer, it's right there. Hopefully it doesn't. we don't get a big dumb screen that kind of obscures everything. So here's all of the contestants, Andy, all the way down through Squiggy. And uh, this list of participants you can see on Patreon.com uh, or my pa Patreon page, which is linked in the description. But we don't know what team you have until right now. Let's go ahead. We're going to randomize it one time. I'll copy and paste the randomized list and we'll match it up. With, um, here we go, randomize, and here's the list. So, let's go ahead and scroll down and just copy and paste. This is the order that the randomizer has spit out. Go all the way down to number 30, which is Andy. So, Andy, we know you have the Washington Nationals. And the whole way up to the top with Alexis. So, we'll know that you have the Diamondbacks. That's all I really remember. So, here we go. First round. Let's go ahead and paste these folks' names in here. So let's review real quick for the folks at home in break A. Here are your names. Alexis has the Diamondbacks. Braves go to William. Andy's got the Orioles. Chris has the Red Sox. Sam has the Cubbies. Squiggy has the Cincinnati Reds. And by the way, if um, you forget, I'm going to copy and paste this into the text box the description for this live stream anthony's got the indians manuel's got the rockies kyle's got the white Sox. jack has the tigers steve houston astros william huddleston has the royals cameron h has the angels cameron wortham has the dodgers matt has the the miami marlins richard k has the milwaukee brewers hugo has the twins dennis has the mets michael has the yankees zachary Dunn has the Oakland A's. Sean McCloskey has the Phillies. James Burnham has the Buckos. Ronnie, a.k.a. Collectors News Network, has the Padres. Bryce has the Mariners. Jonathan has the Giants. Michael Lohr has the Cardinals. Victor has the Rays. John C. has the Texas Rangers. James Wiseman has the Toronto Blue Jays. And Andy McCann has the Washington Nationals. That's one round done. Let's go back and do it all over again. Let's go ahead and get all these names out. Let's do the next round. It's always so uh, gonna randomize these live um so that you know <laughs> everyone just doesn't know i just gave you whatever team I, I felt like it's all completely random so here's the next round let me zoom out just a bit you can see all the names there they're all highlighted gotta go to control c and paste that list down there as um let me just show you all the names there brett starts us off and we go the whole way down to timmy and uh, also a mess of things is, is in this one. These were purchased by Enforcer for you guys for, from Enforcer Toys. We'll talk a little bit about that in a few minutes as well. So here we go. Randomized button in effect. This is break number two. Here's the list. Just scroll down to the bottom. And then we will 
copy and paste the names. Keel has the Nationals, I can tell you that much, because you're the last name. Brett's got the Diamondbacks. Let's get everybody else in here. Break B. Here's the... Oops, did that wrong. Missed it by one spot. That should be better. All right, so let's zoom in and show you the folks in round B and see how that matches up. Bigfoot says, hey, Jabs, I'm 42 subscribers away from 200. Thank you for the info on the drop today. I got two blasters of Top Series 2. Keep up the great work, Bufus. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Bufus and help him get towards that 200 mark. And yeah, really big, probably the biggest target drop we've ever seen today. I'll talk all about that in a little bit here. Just awesome stuff. I, I can't even... I don't, I don't even know how many blasters I picked up. Um, I'll tell you all about it here, though. But first, let's tell you about Break B and Bufus. Thank you very much. Brett's got the Diamondbacks. Jack has the Braves. Chris P has the Orioles. Jacob C has the Red Sox. Daryl has the Cubbies. Scott will have the Cincinnati Reds. Michael has the Indians. Sean has the Colorado Rockies. Brandon has the White Sox. Jason, the Tigers. Chris will have the Houston Astros. Scroll down a little bit so you can see this some more. Uh, Jeremy will have the KC Royals. Jimmy has the Angels. A mess of things has the Dodgers. I know you would have liked the Oakland A's, but Dodgers are a pretty good pick. Sean's got the Marlins. Michael C. has the Brewers. Jack has the Twins. Jim Markovich has the Mets. Ryan Fogle will have the Yankees. Brandon Mayo has the A's. Jack Holland has the Twins. I said that one. Where am I at? Had to move the screen. I got lost. Jason Martin will have the Phillies. Um, and Forcer Torres gets the Pittsburgh Pirates. Good one, good one right there. Sean Christensen has the San Diego Padres. Ryan has the Seattle Mariners. Carol has the Giants. Timmy's got the Cardinals. Jimmy Webb has the Rays. Steven's got the Texas Rangers and the Toronto Blue Jays. And Keel has the Washington Nationals. we got two more rounds to do. Let's get right to it so we can get to rip. And here's a break C. Zoom out a little bit so you can see all the names. This one's sold out. We sold out just shortly before going live. It was open for um, a while there, but um, I don't have any. I only had 40. I think I had four, exactly 40 boxes left, so I didn't have any more that I could do um, beyond these 40. So here we go. Next round. Let's get rid of all the people in break B. Delete them. Here's the folks in break C. So we can see all their names right there, and let's randomize those names right now and see who you get paired up with. I know Baseball Card Outlet's going to have the um, Diamondbacks, but let's go ahead and copy this list that they spit out and see who you get for the third round of this Stadium Club break. There we go. All right, so Baseball Card Outlet, you've got the Arizona Diamondbacks, John Perny has the Braves. John C. has the Orioles. Jose's got the Red Sox. Jose Alvarez has the Cubbies. Josh Craycraft will have the Cincinnati Reds. Anthony has the Indians. Alejandro Santiago's got the Rockies. Eric Ballin's got the White Sox. Victor Descanio's got the, the Tigers. Chris Mills has the Houston Astros. Cape Cod Junk Removal will have the KC Royals. Ryan Barron's got the Angels. He's got a new address, so I'll make sure that I get that to the new address since your PayPal address was wrong. James Geis has the Dodgers. Jonathan A's got the Marlins. Michael Martell has the Milwaukee Brewers. Joshua Craycraft has the Twins. Fernando Flores has the Mets. Matthew Klein has the Yankees. Polo Montero, the Oakland A's. John Contz has the Phillies. Walter Briggs gets the Buccos. Robert McFadden has the Padres. Jace Lanning gets the Seattle Mariners. Brad Bender gets the St. Louis Cardinals. Chris Mills gets the Rays. Baseball card outlet gets the Texas Rangers. Gabriel Dixon. I think that's Dixon, not Dizon. I think that's a spelling error. I apologize for that. Gets the Blue Jays. And Kevin gets the Washington Nationals. Final round. Then let's get to um, busting these open. I see Bufa says, The best card I pulled out of that finest box you sent me was a green Otani out of 99. Nice one right there. Great pull. Congrats on that one. That is a good card. I do like Finest a lot. I'm thinking about maybe grabbing another Finest case and doing another case break of Finest here. That was uh, one of the better sets or better releases we had from maybe the best release we had in June, maybe? Here we go. This is the final round. Get all your names up there. There we go. You can hopefully see all of those. And Timmy Tea Times here says, I emailed you Monday about the cards and the mods. Uh, and the golf balls. Thanks, man. I will get in contact with you. You got a whole stack of select for you. Here we go. Let's randomize it. Last one. 
Here's the list. Well, I'll read these all off. I'll put them with a team here. We'll match them up, and then we will go ahead and get to ripping these cards as we get all the clerical work out of the way. Copy, paste, and copy, paste. So this is all done. Now, here's what you got for the final round. Jacobs has, or Jacob C. has the Diamondbacks. James has the Braves. Michael's got the Orioles, John F's got the Red Sox, John Darden has the Cubbies, uh, Squiggy has the Reds, Dylan Johnson has the Indians, William Mills has the Rockies, Evan Lomrance got the White Sox, Nick, you got the Tigers, Anthony Gravina's got the Houston Astros, Jack has the Royals, Luis Martinez has the Angels, Jack Holland's got the Dodgers, John F has the Marlins, George Schwartz has the Milwaukee Brewers, Junior's got the Twins, Michael Hafey's got the Mets, Todd Campbell's got the Yankees, Nick has the Oakland A's. Chris Andrade's got the Phillies. Let me scroll down a little bit so you can see all of this. What else we got? James has the Pittsburgh Pirates. Vince T's got the Padres. Jordan Sheenbergers has the Mariners. Michael Lewis got the Giants. Michael Engert's got the Cardinals. Charles has both the Tim Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers. Ismail, you've got the Toronto Blue Jays. And Junior, you've got the Nationals. With all of that said, now we can go ahead to get to breaking. So you I've seen what you've got. Now, the only thing I need to do is knock the camera over to scare some people that weren't expecting that. And uh, now I can copy and paste all of these into the um, text box so people that weren't here at the outset to see the randomizer, they're going to be coming in and saying, hey, what team do I have? And this will solve that problem right now i see a super chat just popped up from dingers only breaks thank you very much dingers i really appreciate that let's check it out here in just one second as i get these put into the text box dingers only says uh, hey jobs i'm 15 and i love baseball cards i have my first break it's a pick your team 12 dollars spot and i ultimately would love to break cards like you Love the channel. Thanks. Dingers only. Thank you very much. If you'd like a PYT, pick your own team break, check out Dingers Only Breaks. A 15-year-old getting started in the breaking business. Cool stuff there, man. I really appreciate that. And uh, where do you sell your breaks at? Do you sell them on your YouTube page? Or some folks will maybe do it through Instagram or Facebook or um, I guess check out his uh, YouTube page if any of the mods have the links. And uh, we will uh, hopefully get some people hooked up with you. Thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate that. And we're ready to go. If you check the description box, all of your teams are in there now. So let's go ahead and get to ripping. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. Sorry about that little uh, warm-up there. Have to do that, though, because we have to make sure it's completely random. So... Sam Sterling says, put this towards some monitor cleaning wipes for your laptop. Good luck, everyone. I don't even know the last time I cleaned my laptop. Thank you very much, Sam. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I will definitely do that for our next random team break. I'm, that'll probably stick in my mind now. So, Sam, I really appreciate that. Looks like he's a big Cardinal fan. Oh, we're underway. Here we go. Break A. And Heather says, we made it to our destination. Awesome. Heather and uh, a couple of the kiddos, actually four of the kiddos, are having a, a night out tonight. We've got a Fernando Tatis. This will go to the Padres, by the way. So I'm just going to stack those up in the corner. So the Padres would be owned by, let's see, San Diego Collectors News Network. We'll get that one. How's the back feeling? Um, it was feeling pretty darn good yesterday. So good that I went out and played some baseball. I couldn't really, like, twist my hips to i was the pitcher because i'm i'm like the batting practice pitcher of the family um i didn't really turn my hips but i could still throw snap the wrist and uh man i was hurting today so probably will take a little little time off before doing that again but here we go break a thank you very much everybody for being here now let the break officially begin now there are going to be a grand total of 80 autographs tonight there's 40 total boxes two autographs per box that's one of the draws, at least for me to Stadium Club, is that you can, you know, be guaranteed autos left and right. Whereas if we had 40 hobby boxes of Series 2, which I love Series 2. I mean, honestly, between just the base set of Stadium Club and Series 2, I might take Series 2 over the, the base. 
but uh, all the autos is just so good in this. Um, if you had 40 boxes of Series 2, you might find 12 autos out of 40 boxes here. We're getting 80, so big difference right there. So we'll show you all the cards. A lot of these we're going to have to flip over. Um, every team, every card gets shipped. So, like, for example, like Christian Javier Red would go to the Astros and so on. And Willie Mays would go to the Braves. Uh, usually I try to go really fast to get the autographs. I'll, I'll go at a semi-brisk pace so that you can see your cards, like that nice Mike Trout right there. Oh, there we go. Our first autograph is one of the top 10 to 15 rookies of the class. It's a, Sa a San Fran Giants Joey Bart. This one goes to Jonathan Stein. So the first auto is in the books. Congratulations on that bad boy right there. Go ahead and put that in our top load pile. We're going to have 80 of those. Each round is going to get um, a grand total of, um, what, 20 autographs per round. There's a Alec Bohm. That's got to be sleeved up. So if you've ended up with the Phillies, you're in luck. I bet you we find another Alec Bohm at least in one of these. Andrew says, love the content. Finally joining our Patreon group. Thanks, man. Uh, for those of you that were on Patreon, hopefully you checked out the website today, or at least you got the notification. We went live today, or we didn't go live, but I put all seven links. We had seven drops on Target.com. I put them all up on Patreon for you guys, so you wouldn't miss them. There's a nice Joey Bart. Um, and a lot of people were able to get a lot of baseball cards today because of Target's huge drop. So they, they dropped so much stuff. I'll tell you what they dropped here. Uh, first up, it was the Bowman Blaster Boxes, which sold out in about an hour. They completely sold out. Uh, and then after that, we had Top Series 2 Blasters. We had Top Series 2 Hanger Boxes. Victor says, thanks for those links. You're welcome, Victor. It was uh, the the um, Hanger Boxes were in bundles of two. So you could have ordered 20 Hanger Boxes. Mess of things that he tried, but it wouldn't accept his address. I had a problem too today with one of my answers, one of my one of my orders being canceled out. I'll tell you about that in a second after I go through all the things that they dropped. So they dropped hanger boxes. Jonathan says, I just joined Patreon a few days ago. Super happy getting the first autograph of the night. Awesome, man. Thank you very much for signing up. And uh, hopefully that's not your last auto. You're going to hopefully get some other good stuff in here. You're definitely going to get some Joey Bart base rookie cards. So after the hangers went up, then we had uh, Absolute go next. Absolute Blasters, as you know, from Panini. It's a nice Casey Mize. I'm sleeving all of his stuff. And um, then what came next? Then it was Heritage Blasters. And um, so that's four, th five. No, that's five. Absolute Heritage. And then we had World's Greatest Pack Chase return. The return of World's Greatest Pack Chase. And um, here is an Alex Verdugo. It's nice. All, I love how all the cards are on-card autos. That one is going to the Red Sox, which is Chris Staley. So Chris Staley, very, very nice. see a lot of people saying they picked up cards today. I, I, I think I'm miss, missing the seventh one. I don't know if I got it or not. But a lot of cards dropped today. Now, um, whenever a Target does a drop... I use my address to get 10, and I just pass those along to Patreon members. As you guys know, if you've been a Patreon member, you see all the blasters that I send each month. It's a whole lot of them, and I uh, usually have to buy by the case. And when you buy by the case, it's not it's not cheap. Typically, uh, they might give you a little bit of a discount, but if you look at Steel City, for example, usually their case prices work out to about $30 a blaster. And uh, so when I can get them for 20 I can. So I placed an order on my account, and then I placed an order on Heather's account, and they canceled Heather's account. Well, not, a, not an account, but they canceled the order. So I was like, oh, man, that really stinks. Um, because I guess I used the same credit card on both accounts. So if you do place it on your wife's account or girlfriend's account or whatever, make sure you have her use her credit card and then reimburse her. All right, so that's the end of box one. We had two autographs. Victor says, some of the links were still active on some stuff. Series two, um, yeah, is, I believe still up. They dropped a ton of series two. As you know, series two, we were waiting for that to drop for the longest time, and they just weren't dropping, weren't dropping, weren't dropping. And um, now they're doing a mega drop of series two. So if you go over to Patreon, the links are there. Sometimes it's really tough to find those links without the direct link and we have those direct links for you on patreon 
Just scroll down two entries. It's the second one down. We got a couple super chat popping up. Thanks, guys. Uh, Scott B says, uh, the Jabs Family Box Tops Finest Pack got a four out of five Christian Yelich Auto. Very nice stuff right there. Scott, congratulations. I love Tops Finest. That was one of the featured packs in the Jabs Family Box this past month, and that is a huge hit right there. He's the cover boy of this. So thank you very much for that generous super chat. I really appreciate that. Great pull indeed. And another super chat followed that one up from Slab Scratch. It says... I needed a way to get rid of base cards. I loved your idea to donate repacks to young players, so I did the same. Great way to give back in a hobby largely driven by money. Keep doing you, Jabs. Slab scratch. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Glad that the idea is coming through. We're still working on those. We haven't got them all done yet. There's lots of just tournaments every weekend, so the goal is to have them ready, maybe at least like, I don't know, 50 to 100 packs ready by this weekend. Take them there and pass them out. And also, I was thinking about just taking them to card shows. And even if I don't give them away, maybe just, like, talk to a dealer and be like, hey, I've got a bunch of cards here I'd like to donate. Do you mind just tossing these out on your table giving them to the kiddos? That would not be a bad idea at all. Yeah, we have a bunch of, like, just base commons of Series 2, which aren't really worth anything. But, you know, to a little kid, find like, looking through those and finding, like, I don't know, like, Jose Ramirez or somebody like that, um, they'd be pumped about that. Hey, Dante, how's it going, man? Good to see you in here. Son says, I was uh, in my first month of Patreon and I got a $26 and out of my 2021 Bowman pack on that $26 tier, I got a Jake Vogel for the Dodgers, a Bowman gold card out of 75. It's like a $50 card. Nice. Yeah, Jake Vogel's a good one. Congratulations on that. There's Mountie. I'm sleeving up all Mount Castle cards. Let's go ahead and flip these around and see what we've got in our second box. The one thing I dislike about Breaking Stadium Club is that all of the cards are always flipped all upside down. At least it's not every other card. Bell says that Tony didn't look good at all. Didn't get out of the first. I did not know that. We've got a Devin Williams. He's your Rookie of the Year from last year. Devin Williams going to the Brew Crew. Richard K. with this one. Congratulations, Richard, on the Devin Williams. What's my opinion on Stadium Club? I like Stadium Club. Now, personally, I... I it's, I do love the photography, but I would probably honestly rather have a base tops rookie over a stadium club rookie of the same player. But I absolutely love how they load up on the autographs in this. Like, um, just two autographs per box. They're all on card. It's really, really nice. Corey says that Otani couldn't save a strike to save his life. That's not good. Hopefully he's healthy and there's not some sort of, like, injury starting to flare up. Got tagged for seven runs in the first, so that's going to kill his earned run average. Now, I would say, honestly, I was thinking about it the other day. If you had to ask me who's the AL MVP right now, even though Vladdy has 26 home runs, is leading the league in both RBIs and batting average, you probably, as of yesterday, you probably had to give it to Otani. Otani with 28 dingers and also just having a, a great season pitching. But now... That's a little crack. I mean, it's not. It's enough to make it maybe a toss up again. I had. I probably yesterday would have put Otani just a smidge ahead of Vladdy, just because of what he can do on the mound too. And the twenty eight home runs doesn't hurt either. Both those guys. But I'll tell you what. I think if Vladdy wins the triple crown, that's a really tough spot. Like if Otani pitches to like say a, I don't know. A, Four earned run average and wins 12 games on the mound or whatever and hits you 45 home runs. But Vladdy wins the triple crown with like a 350 average, 54 home runs, 130 some RBIs. What do you do? That's a really tough vote. I mean, guaranteed they're going to be number one and two in the voting. Uh, Eric says, do we get the June benefits if you sign up today? Yes, you will. You will get the June stuff. So like if you're going for the $51 tier, you get the $51 package sent out um, either tomorrow or the next day. Next hit, it's a Tanner Houck. That's from the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox with two hits. Chris Staley, you having a good round? Good job. Alex Verdugo in the first box. Now you have a Tanner Houck rookie card. Kyle Schwarber's been out of his mind. What's he have, like 15 home runs in his last 18 games or something like that? Um, one of the few bright spots for the Washington Nationals this year. We'll see if he can keep it up. How much are the Stadium Club hobby boxes? I think they're like 130 on 
Steel City. They might be a little bit cheaper on eBay, like 120 something. But after tax, of course, that's going to go up a little bit. But they're a good deal for um, two guaranteed autographs. There's a Joey Bart, Ricky Henderson, Red. Jeremy says, do you think the Finest will ever go retail? I wish it would go retail. I mean, they go retail with Finest for um, WWE. There's a nice Kyle Lewis to the Mariners owner, which is Bryce Roberts. It's a Chrome Lewis card, which is a nice one. Starling Marte, we've got a Garrett Cole in there. And there's the man we are just talking about, Sho Shohei Otani, right there. Corey says that it, Blow has a crazy deal right now on Series 2 for just 90 bucks. Ian Hopton says, Thanks, Javs. My 10-year-old son, Dominic, was able to use his birthday gift card today to buy Top Series 2. Love your content. Watch you often. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the super chat. Hope you got some good stuff out of a Series 2 box. Um, you know, if you buy a box, you're definitely going to get some good rookies here. I, I mean, you might not get all top five rookies, but at least three or four out of the top five. Nice Griffey for the Mariners right there. I really appreciate that, Ian. And I bet that was a fun rip. You know, you know how a lot of uh, the more serious collectors get a little perturbed by relics? I'll tell you what, I've seen kids, I've seen, you know, my kids and Heather's kids open boxes and if there's a relic in there, they get super stoked. So uh, I bet he was super happy with that box. Big League should be coming out also, speaking of kids and cards. Big League, I, I thought it was supposed to come out the 2nd of July, but I guess it keeps getting pushed back. It looks like Museum Collection is our next big release. Um, cases of that are super expensive right now. It's like almost $5,000. That's right, Radio, it's 40 total boxes. And we'll be doing that one on July 7th. The museum collection got pushed back until after the 4th of July holiday. Here we go with our next stack for the folks in break A. Trey says, hope that Target will drop the Megas again. Yeah, I sure hope so. That would be nice. I mean, they came back with Bowman Blasters today, so it's possible. You just got to, you know, check whenever they drop them again if they drop them again next week which you know there's words that have been floated about that maybe they're going to start doing it all in store we have a nice juan gonzalez i love this card juan gonzalez you might say wait a minute he's not a hall of famer but yeah i, I love major stars of the past these veteran major stars that's an awesome card right to the texas rangers john corgus gets this one Marksman says, beautiful pull right there. And I know that John loves Mattingly, so he's got to love this Juan Gonzalez. I mean, if you were a fan of baseball in the 90s, you're really going to appreciate that card. Juan Gonzalez was one of the most prolific power hitters of that era. And also has one of the coolest era rookie cards. 1990 Donruss was the hot card back then. It was a reverse negative, and they corrected it, so... You're always looking around for it, and you don't really find too many Juan Gonzalez autographs. I can't even remember the last time we may have pulled one. So a nice one right there, kind of uh, almost a forgotten player because he never got into the Hall of Fame or anything like that. There's a Casey Mize, which is a nice one right there. We'll sleeve up that bad boy. Eduardo Rodriguez, Daz Cameron. All right, Richard says, I got my box from you with the Vladdy Tom's Finest autograph. Sending it to get graded. Thanks a bunch. Richard, congrats on that pool again, man. That's an awesome pool, that Vladdy. One of the nicer cards we pulled that night for sure. Vladdy's cards are just, uh, he's right up there. Arguably the hottest one in the hobby right now. E-Dog says, did they drop Bowman Megas today? They did not do any Bowman Megas, just Bowman Blasters. But still, happy to get some Bowman. I grabbed 10 of those. I grabbed 10 of those. I grabbed 10 Series 2 Blasters. I grabbed... 10 bundles of hangers of Series 2. I grabbed 10 absolute hangers. I even grabbed 10 world's greatest card chase hangers. Why? I don't know. I figured it'd be an interesting video just to see if they tried to improve their product at all. Remember back in the day? Uh, maybe if you do, if you've been around here for a while and have watched all of our videos, but world's greatest card chase would always come out with a release each year and a few years ago, it was like 16 cards per box, or 16 packs per box. Then it was 15 packs per box. I think their most recent one was 12 packs per box. Now it's only six packs per box. There's Andres Jimenez, 
Nice one right there. That one goes to the Mets. The Mets are owned by uh, Dennis Kawasaki. And yes, it goes to the Mets because he is in a Mets uniform right there, not an Indians one. He was the centerpiece in that Francisco Lindor deal, but that's the way... That's the rules of the to trade. Whatever team they're listed at, that's the team they got to go to. It's not the team they're on right now. It's a nice Fernando Tatis. Cameron Hernan says, keep up the fire. Videos, jabs. Now let's see some Angels pulls. Go Padres. The Angels are always one of the hot teams. In any team break, the Angels are always one of the top. Um, I bet you they're one of the top two or three teams price-wise. Like if you would look up like a team break of Stadium Club or whatever, like a, a case break break, they're going to be up there because of Shohei Otani, Mike Trout autographs, always push the prices of those way up, even though they don't really have any top rookies to look out for. The prospect of maybe getting an Otani or Trout just um, drives those prices sky high. So that box is done. Let me get the next one started for you guys in break A. George says, is Tops going to drop Stadium Club on their website? You mean the Blasters? Uh, they're dropped the blasters. You could get a max of two. Those are gone. Target did not drop Stadium Club today. There's a nice Derek Jeter for the Yankees owner. Nice looking card right there. Let's turn two. Says, hey, Jabs, thank you for getting me back in the hobby and inspiring my channel. You are the GOAT, and all of us who have uh, you have inspired are thankful. Thank you very much for those kind words, man. Really appreciate that. Let's turn two. He's got a channel. I hope you guys will check his channel out and give him some support. I really appreciate you supporting mine. There's so many great channels around now, popping up left and right. People, sh Some people doing breaks, some people showcasing their cards, some people going out shopping and showing you what they find. I always find those videos kind of interesting, seeing like what different parts of the country have at their targets, Walmarts, Walgreens, etc. So thanks, man. Appreciate the support and uh, glad to give you some support um, you know, over at your channel too. I hope we can send some viewers your way. So we get into our next box for the folks in break A. Andres Jimenez with the there he is with the Cleveland Indians. Radio says, Are you gonna go go to more Barnes and Noble? I've been to Barnes and Noble maybe like three times since the last hit there. The last hit was like actually finding something there. Haven't found anything there in a while. Bryce Harper's having a rough season, by the way, RBI wise. I think his first 11 home runs, he may still be on the schneid for that. They're all solo shots. He only has like 21 RBIs in, uh, this year so far, which uh, equates out to like 40, 50 RBIs for a year, which is awful. That's a nice Shogo right there, one of the rookies in last year's class. Shogo Akiyama, that one goes to the Cincinnati Reds, which is Squiggy. Squiggy sells. Congratulations on the Shogo autograph. We've opened a lot of cases of this, and that's the first time we've found the Shogo. So this is kind of an interesting case here. Wouldn't say it's a bad one at all. We're not getting, like, uh, terrible autographs left and right. Joe Adele. Why did I forget about Joe Adele? Man, I was talking about the Angels. Like, they don't really have any great rookies. Joe Adele, forget about him because he's been down in the minor leagues. That is a good rookie right there and another good rookie. So the Angels are actually a team that you really want to have. There's a Jake Cronenworth. Jeremy says, thanks for the drop message on Patreon. Got me five boxes of Series 2, three boxes of Absolute, and two of Diamond Kings. That's the one I was forgetting when I mentioned all seven different prices that dropped or products that dropped. Diamond Kings dropped as well today. And all blasters were $19.99 a piece minus Bowman, which was $24.99. All sold at retail price, which is what you want. All right, so that's it for that one. Let's get into the next stack and see what we can find. The Glaber on the back there, Ramon Laureano. The Doomsday says, I got four stadium clubs, eight absolutes, four series two. I'm going to be stalking my mail carrier. Sam says, did you see what happened with Dylan Bundy during the Angels and the Yanks? Yeah, didn't he do a, who was it? Did, did he do Bo Burrows? Was it Burrows that did that? Threw up on the mound? So we've had two players just vomit all over the mound this year. That's pretty gross. But uh, it's becoming a trend for sure. Anthony Buck says, hey, Jabs, my second break as a Patreon member. Somehow I managed to pull the Reds twice. Is trading available? Thanks to keep up the great work. I'll tell you what, um, I can't do it right now. That's just a little too much extra work. But um, let's say you pull the Reds and we have uh, somebody like Daddy Sasquatch in here watching. He's, and he's a huge Reds fan. 
and maybe Daddy Sasquatch, for example, he's not here, but maybe he got your favorite team, like say it was like the, I don't know, the Rays or whatever. If you wanted to trade, I would allow that. You'd both have to email me from your your um, your PayPal addresses and just request me to switch the nameplates. And look at this. This is a great case right here. Man, so this is not a case three. That's a reference to the last break that we did a Stadium Club. Case one and two were amazing. Case three was all bum autos. This has been a good autograph case. A Steve Garvey to the Dodgers, which is Cameron Wortham. So Cameron, you've got a nice Steve Garvey. A lot of people think he should be a Hall of Famer, just not quite a Hall of Famer. Uh, Hall of Famers are like the top 99%. Steve Garvey's like the 97, 98% of the best players um, nice one right there. Steve Garvey on card auto with looks like Ted Simmons behind the dish right there. That is an awesome card. This has been a good case so far for sure. Let's get into the next cards and they're Dylan Carlson. Nice one right there. Much of the thing says I found $13 credit on my target circle account. I don't even spend much at target. Make sure you're not missing that boat. So that's a good tip right there. Thank you very much. A mess of things. By the way, mess of things, we've got some cards from that um, select break that we're going to ship you out, looks like, tomorrow with your uh, Patreon package. There's Randy Johnson. That's a nice card right there for the Mariners. A nice chrome refractor. like that one a lot. Randy Johnson, one of the all-time greats in the Hall of Famer. Look at this. It's a Mariners hit box right there. You get a Griffey chrome as well. Mariners owned by Bryce Roberts having himself... A pretty good box. Not an autograph for you, but you've got both chrome hits. One of them is a refractor. I think you're only guaranteed one chrome card per box. Uh, there's a David Ortiz red and Monte Harrison. Steve Garvey, very nice pull from that box. Let me go ahead and put some of these in the 5,000 count box. Lots of sleeving and team bagging up in my future. Noogie says, let's get paid to see Jabs open cards. That's a good night. Yeah, some people working and watching on the job. Glad that I'm able to uh, help you make it through your shift a little faster. Nice Willie Mays for the Giants team owner right there. There's our next stack. This is box number five. Each round will probably be about 50 minutes or so. It probably takes about five minutes a box. So all together, we'll be here sh shortly under four hours. We'll probably be done around midnight tonight, if you're wondering. Might have to take a little break once Heather and the kids get home from their night out. Um, just to say hello to Heather. I think she's going to put the kiddos to bed. And I've already got two of the kiddos asleep. Eddie, it's doing okay. A little bit so more sore today than in recent days. But that's because I went out and played... Uh, baseball yesterday. Well, not really played, but just pitched. Strict rule that you had to throw it directly to my chest. <laughs> there was no, I wasn't going to bend down. If it was below my waist, I didn't even make an attempt to catch it. Just let it go, roll on right by. It's a nice Alec Bohm coming up. That is a red um, name, red foil name parallel. Barry Larkin. Alex Kirloff. That's a good one right there for the Twins. You got his Chrome, Stadium Club Chrome rookie card. Twins are owned by Hugo Martinez. Congrats on that one. Uh, Elite says, I got a foul ball from Tur uh, Trey Turner's cycle today. That's pretty cool. Trevor Bauer, by the way. Congrats on that. Trevor Bauer's might be in some trouble. I don't know if you've Read about it yet, but uh, Trevor Bauer is being uh, accused of some serious stuff. And I'm sure that with his social media presence, and he's not afraid of speaking his mind, he's probably going to address it on his um, YouTube page with 400,000 subscribers before too long. Pretty serious. I'm not going to talk about it here because we probably have some kids watching, and um, it's, uh, it's kind of an adult topic. There's Vlad Jr., and Cal Ripken Jr., 91 Stadium Club. It's got some Blue Jays, Sanjin Ryu right there. I think the second autograph is going to be a real. Autographs always seem to be in the same spot, I would bet you. Jonathan says, hi, Eric. Loving the videos. How do you keep your personal collection organized? I keep mine sorted by year, then group all my rookies together. Um, that's a great question, and... The quick answer is I don't have my collection organized at all. 
There's a lot of it in my garage, some of it downstairs. Just uh, a lot of it, I guess, is just in 5,000 count boxes in no particular order. But um, it's, it's not organized at all. It's going to take a long time to get it organized. I'd like to just keep the best rookie cards of each, but even those are kind of scattered throughout these different 5,000 count boxes. And Matthew says it is Dollar General has hanger packs of Series 1 for 5 bucks. Plan on buying the last 10. I've been into Dollar General looking for cards also. And by the way, I really appreciate the super chat there, Jonathan. Epitome says it's 122 with free shipping, a good deal for a hobby box. Yeah, that's a great deal. Um, it's less than Steel City and Blowout cards for this. They're, I think, 130-ish. So, yeah, might as well grab it. Doesn't really get much lower than that for two autographs in a box. For a second there, I thought we may have had a Chris Bryant... Yeah, Dollar General does have some Pokemon there, but and look at this. We have a hit for the Houston Astros. It's the Luis Garcia base card autograph. Houston is owned by Steve Martz. So, Steve, congratulations on that. Luis Garcia autograph coming your way. There's not a lot of redemptions. He's the only one that we've seen in Stadium Club this year. Andrew says, hey, Eric, did you get my package? Just want to know. Hi, everyone. Also, good luck to all. Thank you, man. I did get your package. I haven't opened it up yet. Um, I kind of have a bad habit with that. I get packages. A lot of them are just eBay purchases. I I buy eBay stuff a lot. A lot of them just uh, unopened wax or like maybe like stuff that I have to use for my Patreon packages. So I, I might not crack them open until later on in the month when I'm ready to start doing the packages. But I did see something with your name on it coming. I really appreciate that. But I have not opened it up yet. Uh, thank you very much for the super chat, though. I'm, I will make it a point to try to do that within the next couple days. And um, those uh, hobby boxes I bought off you, I will bust those open. And everyone's getting a hobby pack on Patreon on the $26 tier and up this coming month. Brandon Belak, another Houston hit. It's the Houston Astros box. Both hits going to the Astros. I got two super chats popping up. Bot Breaker <laughs> says, Hey, Eric, I'm a new Patreon member, subscriber. Would love to get into a turn back the clock Thursday or uh, throwback Thursday. Dylan Carlson read. Any idea on when that will be available? Thanks for the great content. Bot Breaker, thank you very much. And a message thing says, I found packs of 500 sleeves at Target for $5.99. That's a great deal. Anytime you can get sleeves for around a dollar per hundred, you got to grab those. So that is another tip for you guys that are maybe stalking Target's website right now, looking at all the cards that are available there. Check out the sleeves because that is a great price. And uh, back to Bot Breaker's question. A message things. Thank you for that super chat as well. Um, for th Throwback Thursdays, those particular spots, I typically, maybe like once a week or so, when I have single spot videos, I mean, there's a nice Jackie Robinson for the Dodgers. But I feel like if it's a single spot video, I will put that on sale with a couple other single spots. Like, for example, this week I did the retail review of this. I had uh, Face Off Friday on there as well. And then maybe like uh, I might put up with Saturday Shona, but there's only one spot available for them. So those typically go to whoever's watching closely and basically if you want to watch closely on patreon you probably want to have the patreon app with notifications turned on so that when i do get something posted you get notified right away and can sign up for it there but um typically i might post it around the middle of the week this particular week there isn't going to be a spot for throwback thursday it's a it's a repack product featuring old wax packs that we'll check out and uh, since it was sent to me for free, I don't feel like it would be good practice to sell that spot. So I just, I open it up and then the cards inside are their mind to do with what I want. A lot of them, if there's any good ones, I'll give them away in the, like a future 95K giveaway or whatever is coming up next. Um, some of them I might just put my commons bin and just eventually send those off to Patreon members that are in Saturday showdowns when we have the commons dumps there's a david ortiz very nice refractor right there for the red sox red sox having a pretty good break i'll tell you that two autographs a nice refractor and jazz chisholm with the chrome rookie card right there that one goes to the miami marlins which this round is for matthew kane so nice one right there there's 
Reese Hoskins. Jay says, I just want to know if the Pirates have been doing good this season. I've not watched them in a little while. They're not doing good. Did they just get swept by the Rockies? Um, they almost got no hit last night. It was ninth inning, and they had no hits. And good old Kai Tom, a Rule 5 draft pick of all people, was able to get a single to break up Herman Marquez's no-hitter, almost the eighth no-hitter of the season. But now they haven't been doing good at all. They're a last-place team, and I'm just going to watch now to see if um, they are going to get the first overall pick. We'll see. They've got to wrestle it away from the Diamondbacks. There's a nice Alec Bohm, 1991. I almost hope that they get the first pick. We'll see. They have the first pick this year. We'll see if they take Jack Leiter. Who's the son of, is it Al Leiter or Mark Leiter? I think it's the son of Al Leiter. I'm not exactly sure. Some of you guys that are Jack Leiter fans might know. Next box up. Or next stack up. Let's see who we've got. Shohei Otani right there. Jay Roberts says a lot of card offerings on Target are Red Circle exclusives. That's pretty awesome. I did not know that. I'll have to check into that. And Justin says, have you talked to Zach Hample at all lately? Any collabs coming? I haven't talked to Zach for a while. Uh, definitely not this year at all. I forget the last time he checked in with me. Um, but Zach's a pretty cool dude. Does uh, a lot of videos on YouTube and has a lot of success. And Sam says, I noticed Dylan Carlson's base card is the, and this set is the same image from his super short print series one. Is it common for Tops to do that? We've seen them, them reuse photos before. Uh, who did we see it with? Was it a Mount Castle? I forget what the, the product was, but they used the same picture on Mount Castle on like a series one card, then like another um, set soon after that. I forget if it was Inception or what. There is Santiago Espinal. That is for the Blue Jays, which is James Wiseman with the rookie card auto right there of Santiago Espinal. We'll see if Tops is going to even it out this box with a more valuable autograph. That one's not terribly uh, you know, valuable. I mean, at least it is a rookie auto, so you never know who's going to be the next Adolis Garcia or um, Cedric Mullins. There's a lot of guys you can put in that list. Kyle Lewis, autos are worth nothing. When he first, uh, you know, was coming out, or his autos were coming out, Randy Rosarena was another one. Shane McClanahan is a nice prospect with the Rays. A lot of people in Tampa like this guy. This one's for Victor Behena. So, Victor, congrats on your autograph. It's a nice Jazz. We're sleeving Jazz Chisholm cards. Luis Castillo, and that's it for that box. We've got four more boxes left for this particular round. Get some more of these cards in the 5,000 count hopper here. And let's get this one underway. I'm thinking you might be able to start finding some Stadium Club blasters this week. We'll see. I haven't found any around here yet. Maybe you've had some better luck. Jason says, is Akil Badu in boxes yet? Mm, no, we haven't seen any Akil Badu. What's up with that? It wasn't in Series 2. Um, maybe because, wasn't it Badu like a Rule 5 draft pick? So maybe they were a little like unsure if he was going to stick with the Tigers. Uh, we'll see him an update, I'm sure, for for sure, along with Yermin Mercedes. Which, by the way, Yermin Mercedes is like... He's probably not even going to be like a top 5 rookie in update this year. Last time I checked... For me, Mercedes it was hitting like 270 with seven home runs like two days ago, which isn't impressive at all. For a while there, back in April and May, he was hitting 400, and he was the haunt guy. His, his autographs were worth hundreds of dollars. But now, ever since Tony La Russa chewed him out and publicly ashamed, like uh, embarrassed him and shamed him, he's just disappeared. It's like Tony La Russa... Let all the air out of his sails, and now he's just stalled out. I think I looked at his last 30 games. Your mean Mercedes is hitting like 120 or something like that over his last 30 games, which is abysmal. So, I mean, baseball is a long season, and uh, everything averages out in the end. So I feel bad for anyone that picked up those your mean Mercedes cards for super expensive. Very nice autograph on this Mark Mathias card. Milwaukee Brewers having a good round. That's their second autograph of this round. They also had a Devin Williams autograph. 
Richard K. with your second auto, Mark Mathias. How do I package the box toppers very carefully? Um, typically, a lot of people that buy into the brakes um, usually are on get more than one round or two, so they might have a stack pretty like high. So I put them in a crush-proof box at the bottom, and um, that's one way to do it. So they're packaged tightly in there with all the cards. It's almost like a, say, like a 500-count box, but it's a little wider, so it fits that card perfectly. Um, it's about the length of a blaster box and the width of two and a half blaster boxes. So whatever those dimensions are, maybe like nine by six inches. They're really nice. I use all those crush proof boxes for all of my $99 tier members it can fit two blasters in there along with a fat pack and six additional packs right in between those two blasters ship those out in a priority flat rate bubble mailer each month which by the way if you're thinking on getting on patreon i can let you know what we've got coming up for you i know for a fact that i have enough blasters that we can do stadium club for all 51 and $99 tier members, the $99 tier members, you'll get a Blaster of Series 2 in there also since you didn't get one last month, since you got Bowman last month, the month of June. Here's the next stack. So those are the featured Blasters this month. And uh, one of your packs will be a hobby pack of um, Series 2. Here's an Alex Kirloff. If I can ever get it flipped around, it's a regular card. What's, uh, somebody said, Jacob, will this $26 tier have Series 2? Yep, you'll have Series 2 hobby packs as well. I bought a whole bunch of cases of Series 2 so that we could do breaks, and everybody that wanted a spot could get one, and I figured, you know what, all the extra that's left over, we'll just pass that along to Patreon members, and that's exactly what we'll do for you guys this month. We've got a numbered Greg Maddox out of 50... So see, it's an orange parallel. Nice one right there. That one goes to the Cubbies. There's Joey Gallo. And let's flip these around. Will Myers. MasterCard card right there. We've got Randy Johnson. Spencer Howard. Sam says Key Brian Hayes. He is in here. We haven't... I don't think we've... Have we found a Key Brian Hayes card yet? I don't think we have. I almost wonder if that's like a short print card. It's just not showing up at all. Usually I would grab that right away and put it in my sleeve pile, but I don't think we've found that one. Key Brian Hayes, did anyone see the play um, last week when he threw out Yadier Molina? It was maybe one of the craziest plays you'll ever see a third baseman make. <laughs> just ranging so far to his right into foul territory, throwing completely off balance, Almost like uh, he wasn't, even, uh, man, just if you could get a chance to see that play, I think that I forget, I saw it on Fuzzy's channel. He was, he was going crazy about it. I don't know if anyone else covered it, but that was just an amazing play by Key Brian Hayes. <laughs> and uh, Yachty was like, holy crap. He couldn't believe it. And uh, man, that has to be embarrassing to be thrown out on a ball that was so far, almost like halfway down the line. Good old Yachty. I mean, he's a catcher. You can give him a break. He's been doing all that kneeling since he broke into the league in 03 or whatever. Definitely one of the slowest players in the league. Jason says, I've been to Lincoln Park. No, I have not. There's a nice... Oh, look at this. A double box loader box. Ichiro and Mookie Betts. Two for the price of one. Pretty cool right there. That's the first time that's happened in any of our stadium club boxes. Brian says, that Johnny Bench card is kind of creepy. <laughs> that is kind of creepy. I'm glad you pointed that out. Johnny Bench smiling and holding a bunch of balloons and smiling at little kids. We'll have to look at that one again next time that one comes up. Thank you very much for the super chat. The Johnny Bench creepy card. Rufo says, any jazz chism yet? We did have a nice chrome auto. We'll, sh we'll probably show you another one of those. We've got two more boxes left this particular round. Slap says our box topper is shipping with the break too. Yep, they'll go with your team also. You'll get those as well. Here we go with our next round. Someone said the video is lagging a bit. Try to hit the uh, refresh button or maybe just simply check your resolution. Make sure it didn't get set down to 
um, 144p. There's a Jake Cronenworth. That's a nice refractor right there for the Padres. Jason said it's all good now. Good. Glad that it's back. Bobby Dalbeck, Chrome as well for the Red Sox. We'll see about that one. Top rookie. Red Sox still having a good break. All right. Autographs should be coming up soon. Do we got one here? No. Got the uh, Max Kepler Field of Dreams card. That's a cool one. Like, how did they get that picture, by the way? Was, was there, like, a photographer just, I guess, was he in right field, I guess, and the photographer was in the stands and was able to take that picture from that angle? That is a great angle right there. Bobby says, finally got to watch live. Love the content. Thank you very much, Bobby. Thank you for being here and checking us out tonight for some more Stadium Club. Thomas says, did Target drop cards today? They did drop cards. There were seven different products that dropped. There's a members-only card. Very nice. Davey Garcia. We'll get that one sleeved up. There's supposedly still some Series 2. Uh, Jeffrey said, guess what, guys? Blowout sold out of Stadium Club, so the prices are going to go up tomorrow. That's, uh, that's, you know, that's a good indicator. Once the supply dries up, prices go up. So if you haven't bought your Stadium Club box yet, if you're thinking about grabbing one on eBay for like $120 something, you might want to grab it now. Those big boys, Blowout and Steel City, they uh, they kind of, I don't want to say they dictate the market, but they kind of guide the market a lot. Like people will price their stuff on eBay based off of what they have it for. Sometimes you can get stuff for a lot cheaper in your local card stores because the local card stores get their stuff pre-ordered from Tops. They pay for the stuff like way in advance and get the best price. Larry says, 400, only 400 people watching, only 100 likes. Uh, 107 likes now. Thank you, everybody that has hit that like button. I really appreciate that. There's the key, Brian Hayes. Finally shows up. Hope everybody's having a very nice Wednesday. We've got Throwback Thursday for you tomorrow. We have a Face-Off Friday, which I'm pretty excited about this Friday. It's going to be four blasters. And look at this. A Nate Pearson Refractor Auto right there. They have to... Uh, they have to make sure they, they can't, I guess they can't get the ink on the refractor because any ref, refractor or chrome card is usually just a sticker on there. That's a nice one right there for the Blue Jays. And Diamond Princess says, I hugged your like button. Thank you very much. And Nate Pearson to James Wiseman. So that's James' second autograph of the night. Congratulations on that one. And we'll see. I, don't, I think that's our two autographs from this. Uh, Tyler says, Brian Reynolds is going to lead the NL Central Outfielders in war. That's pretty awesome. I didn't. I know he was having a good season. Might end up being an all-star snub because the Pirates may only get one player. And look at this. We have the case hit. It's the Instavision Bryce Harper. How about that one? Congratulations. These are one per case. Uh, so not every round is going to have an Instavision card in it. But this one did. Sean McCloskey with the case hit. Very, very nice. John P. says, hey, Eric, I heard about that Key Brian play, but I finally just watched it, and uh, that's why we collect amazing play. Uh, I'll tell you what, if Key Brian Hayes can keep making plays like that one and keep uh, doing well to play, he kind of cooled off a little bit at the plate. The average dropped down into the 260s or so, but Marco Gonzalez, Seattle Mariners. Very nice one right there. Mariners having a great break. That goes to Bryce Roberts. His, um, you know... He kind of he plays in a very small market, the Pirates. But you know, if he can get his name out there by making plays like that one, his cards will uh, you know keep their value, maybe increase. I mean, he already was the most valuable rookie card in Series Two. His autographs pretty darn valuable. So I hope that he stays hot. I hope that he ends up um, playing like he did for the uh, second half of last year when he just was. The rookie of the second half of the year, basically. There's two months, basically, last year in the 60-game season, and he won the Rookie of the Month in September. Sean says, I want to know for your Patreon, do you have to rejoin each month, or does it rejoin automatically? It does it automatically for you. So if you have your card or PayPal on file, they'll just charge that the first of each month, and uh, they'll do so until you decide to cancel it. So some we've had some people... Still on board since 2018. The long-time members really appreciate all you guys. Uh, Derek says, I'm saving up for a hobby box. Which would you choose? Series 2, Stadium Club, or Panini Select? Personally, if you like autographs, I would recommend Stadium Club. 
if you like hits that aren't quite as valuable, I would choose select. That's not, uh, select is going to be almost double what Stadium Club costs, though. You, I think you get four hits in select. But it's Panini. And um, then you have Tops, which is flagship. And a lot of people like Tops just because it's the flagship. It's like the main set. So, I don't know. That's a good question. Series 2 will end up costing you the least. Select will end up costing you the most. This will be right in the middle. So, it all depends on your budget. Fart Dad says, crazy what's going on with Bauer. Surely he's done in MLB. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure. Marco Gonzalez, again, it's a red foil autograph. That one's out of 50. Five out of 50. Um, Trevor Bauer is probably not going to go anywhere, I don't think. That's just my personal opinion off of kind of what it sounds like. I mean, it's uh, he may get a suspension. It's... It's a he said, she said type deal. And hey, Jack Townsend's in the house. I guess um, Trevor Bauer has some texts and stuff like that. It's just, um, I don't want to talk too much about it and get too much in the specifics. But Jack Townsend's here now. And uh, if you guys watched the video from Mystery Box Monday, Jack Townsend was the star of that video with his awesome mystery packs. Probably some of the best mystery packs we've seen here in a long time. Christian Javier... That's a nice one right there for the Houston Astros. Another Astros hit, Steve March. Congratulations. Jason with the hashtag 95K. We'll probably be there in a couple weeks, hopefully. Maybe less. We'll do that 95K giveaway whenever we hit that. And then the next big one's going to be 100K. There's Chris Bubich as well. Jacob says, when are your mystery boxes being released? I'm, I'm actually in... I was in contact with Jack earlier today via Facebook, and we're talking about um, getting together 50 of them and doing a live stream on them. I know Jack's got an awesome collection. Uh, he's got so many great hits that he's pulled. So I think that would be pretty cool if we could showcase those for you guys. And basically, um, he would sell them through me, and I'd sell them to Patreon members. Sean says, I want to know for Patreon, do I have to rejoin? I think I got that question already, Sean. If you didn't hear me, you're probably on a delay. You don't have to rejoin each month. It's auto-renewing on the 1st. Jacob said, I'd love to grab one of those mystery boxes. Well, we'll have them on Patreon. I requested 50 of them from Jack. Here's another key, Brian Hayes. Nice one right there. Brady says, are you going to do a trout chase? That's going to be coming up in July, so... It will likely be... i got to double-check when he broke into the league... And we might just do it on his 10-year anniversary of his MLB debut. There's Raphael Marchand for the Phillies. Phillies are owned by Sean McCloskey. So Sean having a good round with also that Instavision case hit. Congrats on the autograph right there. Christian Pache, a falling star in the rookie realm, just popped up. See what a Mitch White. I'm surprised we haven't found a Mitch White autograph yet. Usually uh, see a lot of that card left and right. There's a Chrome Christian Yelich. Mike Brousseau. And Alex Kirloff. Red foil is a nice card. Final box of round A, July 8th. Whoa, I better get on the ball here. That's coming up, radio. All right, I will have to uh, get on the ball and get that started up. The Mike Trout 2011 Tops Update, Chasing Trout, coming back. Bryce Harper is our last box topper, so now that I have all of those out of the way, I can put those over here with break A's box. Cameron says, Trout Auto Income. That would be absolutely awesome. I hope so. I know that you hope so, since you have the Angels. Jack says, when you check this break, you uh, when you're done with this break, you check your PMs. Yeah, on Facebook, I will do that. And there's a mess of things. July 8th, 10 years of Trout. We'll get it started, a mess of things. We're going to go after the Mike Trout 
rookie card, the Mike Trout Diamond, what's it called? Electric Diamond, the Mike Trout Cognac. All of those parallels. Diamond Anniversary, I think it's called, not Electric Diamond. I always say that for 2011 update. Electric Diamond was like 1994 upper deck. The Diamond Anniversary, we'll check that one out. There's Brooks Robinson. But yeah, that'll be coming up. I will, for those of you that are on Patreon yet, if you'd like to purchase a spot in that, the way it will have to go since the boxes are so expensive. There's Johnny Bench, the creepy card. I just, who is he looking at there? <laughs> that is a creepy card. I don't want to say Johnny Bench is a creepy guy. His uh his wife is like I think like 40 years younger than him. You can you can fact check that, but she is way younger. And I think he has like a a biological like 6-year-old son right now. And he's uh he's uh, pretty much up there now. There's an Andre Scrub from the Astros. Astros with three hits this round. Pretty nice one right there. Let's see what else we've got. The other autograph is likely going to be in that next stack. Joey Bart is going to be in here. Aaron said he pulled an Acuna Beam Team Black out of 99 and an Acuna Auto, too. That's some amazing stuff right there. Hey, Mounty, let's sleeve up Mount Castle. He's uh, becoming respectable again. Giancarlo with the bat flip there. And these last couple cards here, the autograph's going to be the next stack, so let's get right to it. All right, here we go. Break A, final stack. Break B will be up next. If you're a little bit late and you're in this break, we randomized all the spot with spots within the first 10 to 15 minutes. And if you want to see what team you have, they have all been copied and pasted into the description of this video. Over here we have maybe the autograph, maybe not. Yeah, Tony got rocked in the first inning, they were saying. Seven earned runs, didn't get out of the first. Earned run average up, almost a full run. I think it was like 280-something before that. Luis Castillo is the final autograph for the Reds. So Reds having a good break also with two autos. Reds are owned by Squiggy. Squiggy, I don't know if I have your address, so make sure that if you haven't sent me your address that I have it. Jay Roberts says, Bench only made $2 million in his MLB career. He sold his memorabilia to make sure those young kids were taken care of, but who bought most of it and uh, who bought most of it and gave it all back to Bench? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, those players back in the day, all those players from the 50s, 60s, 70s, they didn't make much money at all. Um, just salaries were so low. A lot of them just making thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year. Because the price of the tickets were real low. There wasn't all the, the television revenue. There wasn't all the merchandise sales. That's a nice Joe Adele Chrome rookie card for the Angels. So a lot of those players, they make their money by doing uh, autograph signings and selling merchandise. And I mean, that's how Pete Rose has survived for the past, I don't know, 40 years since, past 30 years maybe, since his uh, exit unceremoniously, unceremoniously from the MLB. Pete Rose will sign anything and everything for a fee. And uh, you know what? Can't blame him, right? All right. So break A is officially in the books. Thank you, everybody that participated in break A. That one is done. Now we are moving on to break B. So let's get a spacer and use these. Get that on the screen so people watching later on, if they're in break B, can just kind of fast forward until they see a B on the screen. And here we go. Break B. Officially underway. First is going to be a Joe Adele. We've got a new Angels owner. It's Jimmy Webb getting that one right there. So, Jimmy, going to have some Joe Adele rookie cards coming your way. Sean says, I've been a big fan of Diamond Kings. Pulled a Joe Torrey out of uh, 10 Jersey King patch. 3 out of 10 Yachty. And Diamond Kings does treat some people pretty good. It's not a bad product. 
It is panini, so that kind of makes some people hate it, but not too bad. Jason says, can you go to Meyer to get some cards and open them up in a face-off? I could, but the closest Meyer is like two hours away. I think it's like in Ohio, so probably not going to be very practical, but supposedly they're supposed to be building a Meyer like uh, a town away. So once that goes in, um, I'll check it out. Bax Pax says, DK and Absolute are both amazing sets. Yeah, some people really like the... Uh, the Panini Baseball products, you do get a lot more autographs with Panini. Hey, Key Brian Hayes coming out early this round to the Buccos. That one goes to Enforcer Torres, who, by the way, now we can talk a little bit about what went down Enforcer Torres. Got eliminated in Saturday Showdown. Man, we've had some crazy Saturday Showdowns recently. I think the one before with Absolute, it came down to the very last card and we had a really strong number, like 1 out of 10, get bumped off. In the last pack, the last card with a 1 out of 1, it was pretty disgusting. And then in our last showdown, if you didn't watch it, I, I don't want to give it all away, but um, Enforcer Torres was solidly in the lead, and he lost it to the last spot. And uh, somebody didn't pay their invoice, so I purchased the last spot for my moderators that were helping out that night. And... Um, the moderators ended up winning. So uh, with that, I set the rules. I was like, all right, here's what we're going to do. This one, by the way, is out of 99, Max Scherzer Black Virtual Reality. So we had a special Patreon only. There's a photographer's proof, Brady Singer. First time seeing that kind before. So we had a Patreon only special live draft of all the hits. And uh, I cut Enforcer Torres in. And uh, then he cut in a mess of things with a slot and then he also cut in timmy the little seven-year-old boy that you saw in the video with a slot as well timmy's a huge baseball card fan he might be coming in here soon heather and four of the kiddos are out right now on a night out and um they'll be back i don't know sometime within the next hour or so and Timmy ended up with the Cardinals, so he's going to have some Dylan Carlsons coming up. So, Enforcer, thank you very much. I know a mess of things really appreciated that, and Timmy did as well. If he comes in here, Enforcer, if you're watching, I'll have him thank you on camera. Well, maybe not on camera, but... Uh, I'll have him say thanks, like, it's just standing here. I don't think you want to see the behind-the-scenes break room. Otherwise, you'd see a bunch of just, uh, like, garbage piled up. Well, not, not really, but it's not exactly super clean in here. As there's always boxes and top loaders everywhere and supplies. And There's the hit. It's a Taylor Jones to the Houston Astros. Houston's owned by Chris Paparelli this round. So, Chris, congrats on that hit. Astros have been having a good break so far I think they had three autos in the fourth round ike says enforcer is a good dude hey ike how's it going man there's stan the man musual Hannes wagner getting a card for the buckos kind of cool thing right there spencer howard dennison lament black foil name variation John says, how many hobby packs do you get on the $26 tier? There's a shirt and apostle is the next hit in the batting cage right there. That one goes to Stephen C. Morgan. So, Stephen Morgan, congratulations on shirt and apostle. Cool one right there. Uh, this month, you get four newer packs. Um, this month, I think there'll be, there'll be at least one hobby, probably one hobby pack in there. And it is uh, Series 2. The other ones, I haven't decided what they're going to be just yet. Let's go to our next round for B. 357 is here. It says, uh, hey, Eric, Jeff, show me the best hit so far. And did you order anything this morning? We had some nice hits. Steve Garvey, um, Juan Gonzalez. We didn't get any of the major rookie hits yet. I don't think we got anything worth hundreds of dollars. But, yes, I did order a lot of... Um, stuff on target every baseball drop i bought the max of which was 10 blasters so i was busy grabbing those and um 
hopefully you're able to get some too and putting the direct links on Patreon so that everyone there could see those as well and grab some. We've got in box B a Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. Anthony Buck says, just a quick shout out to the moderators for doing such an awesome job. We appreciate keeping the live streams fun and friendly. Yeah, they do do an awesome job. I really appreciate you recognizing them. And um, they definitely do a nice job for sure. I'm very lucky to have them here. Let's see what we can find in the next round here, the next box. This is box number two out of 10 in round B. Let's see what we've got. And uh, I must have things has the link there to Tony Buck. Uh, Dusty says, been hooked on your live streams lately and decided to sign up for the $99 tier today. Well, I still get the June package. Yes. If you sign up today, I still have enough Bowman blasters left that I can do that for you. You'll get a Bowman blaster. I'm all out of Heritage blasters, so... Uh, a Series 1 blaster. And I only have a couple of those left as well. But I have enough that I could probably do another dozen or so of the $99 package. There's a nice Tristan McKenzie. And I think I'm all out of... Um, what am I out of? I think I'm all out of the Series 2 of 2020 fat packs. So instead of getting a Heritage blaster, you get a Heritage fat pack. You get a Series 1. But yeah, you'll still get your two blasters. One of them being a Bowman. And your fat pack. And your six additional packs so if you'd like to jump in on that i'm just going to be sitting around here waiting for delivery all day tomorrow i'm supposed to get a new appliance delivered so i'll just be working on packages maybe probably hanging out with heather here and there too of course she's supposed to be hanging out as well Nothing crazy at the back of that. Jacob says, I woke up this morning, but I accidentally went back to sleep. Jacob, you missed out on a huge baseball drop. I mean, there's still some still out there. I think some Series 2 is still up, but you missed out on the Bowman and who knows what else is out. Yeah, James getting a fridge here. So that will be nice to replace my broken fridge. Every time I make the kids dinner, I won't have to run up and down the stairs a bunch of times to go to the downstairs fridge, which I guess I guess I'm getting my workout. Bobby says series two is still available on Target's website. Yep, there that's a good thing if you slept in today. You missed you may have missed a lot of it, but there's still some series two, which I like series two. I'll tell you what, I would definitely, if I was able to, I'd buy another 10 blasters, but I am not able to. I'll, Albert Abreu is the next hit for the Yankees. Yankees run by J Jim Markovich this round. So, Jim, congrats on the autograph. Red foil Marco Gonzalez right there. Clint Frazier. I think that's it from this box for the hits. Alex Kirloff will still take out the good stuff. Is Stadium Club for sale online, says Cody. It did not drop on Target's website. Daniel Johnson. So there's the second autograph, I guess. It was, I lose track when we do these large-scale breaks of how many autographs we pull out of the box. But that goes to the Indians. So that one goes to Michael Cruz. So congratulations on the rookie, Daniel Johnson. In regards to Stadium Club... They were not for sale on Target's website, but they did drop on Walmart's website today. And unfortunately, I missed the drop. I saw some one of my Patreon members sent me a note, and uh, I saw it too late, and I missed it. So Walmart had them for $19.99, and now they're gone. But that's okay, because as you saw, I, I bought a bunch of cases of these, so I think I have enough for everybody. Steven said Walmart dropped them. I got 10. That's pretty awesome. Yep, I'm always looking for blasters to, uh, you know, populate those 
packages on a monthly basis. So like I said, whenever I can get them for retail costs for 20 bucks, it's a lot better than paying the Steel City case price for blasters, which they usually have it for 30 each. Bearman says, why are the Padres called Buccos? They're not called Buccos. The Padres are called the Friars. Um, you're thinking of the Pirates. The Pirates are called the Buccos because what's another name for Pirates? Buccaneers. And that's where the Buccos comes from, short for Buccaneers. All right, next up. But if you're new to baseball, that's a good question to ask. Can't uh, can't hate on you for asking questions. I'll tell you what, I would ask questions like that all day long if I was trying to learn about football or basketball or hockey, that's for sure. So that's the only way you get to learn stuff is by asking questions. There's a Cody Whitley. And, uh, oh, man, Timmy is going to be happy about this one. Timmy has an autograph. Timmy is going to be coming in here soon. He's the seven-year-old. He's actually Heather's son. Uh, he was featured in the video, and Enforcer wanted to buy him around. My son isn't into baseball cards. He's more into math and stuff like that, which is awesome. So Timmy's my wingman at card shows. There's Key Brian Hayes for the Buccos. That one goes to Enforcer Torres. <laughs> 357 said, how did PA get the Penguins as a name for a team? I have no idea. It's a good name, though. I mean, it, I couldn't really imagine having another name. It works, I guess. I guess they got the name Pirates because the Pirates supposedly... What was this story? They pirated Hannes Wagner and some other players from the Louisville Cardinals or something back then. And uh, that's why they got the name. Brian says, thinking of moving from 51 to 99 after just one month, what should be in the 99 tier? That's a good question. Brian, it looks like... I can tell you right now for sure... The, the meat and potatoes, so to speak, of that tier are the two blaster boxes. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you a choice on the $99 tier this month. It'll be a posting that only $99 tiers can see on Patreon because I, I don't want a bunch of other comments. I want only comments from you guys. You're going to get a Stadium Club blaster and a Series 2 blaster. And you have the option, if you don't like Stadium Club, to choose two Series 2 blasters. That is your options. And then, uh, of course, you'll get a fat pack, which I don't know what it's going to be. I have to see what I have available. I think I ordered some Series 2 fat uh, fat packs. Did I say Blaster? I meant fat packs. But they're still not here, so I do have a case of Heritage. I might use Heritage. Um, you will get a hobby pack of Series 2 in there along with um, six additional packs. There's Monte Harrison. Nice on-card auto right there for the Miami Marlins. I like that one a lot. And George says, great stream. I have Milwaukee Group D. If anyone wants to trade Red Sox fan, I'm open. So if we have a huge Brewer fan, well, I guess it would be, you got to see who has the Red Sox. It's John Fatorsky. Fatorkowski. John Fortkowski has them. He would have to trade with you. Or I guess you could maybe trade with um, Jose Mendez, Jacob Cavanaugh, or Chris Staley. I know Chris Staley is not going to give up his break from break A. He had two autographs and a nice chrome Bobby Dalbeck. So uh, if you can get a trade ahead of time, that's great. But probably you're honestly not going to be able to get a trade till afterwards. The Milwaukee Brewers are having a, a good break so far. We had two autographs from them in break A. And this is a good hit right here. It's a blue key Brian Hayes, which I think is out of 50. Look at that. Key Brian Hayes, 4 out of 50. Enforcer Torres getting some great karma back. That's a great card right there. I mean, if we found a Key Brian Hayes rookie and flagship tops out of 50, you'd be looking at maybe a $400 card or so. This one right here, I'm not sure if it's the Stadium Club. The rookie cards of the Stadium Club aren't as desirable as the flagship parallels, but I'm going to guess 150 bucks on this. Let me know if I'm wrong, if you can find this card out of 50 key brian hayes blue foil for enforcer torres that is a huge card that might be the best card of the night so some good karma coming your way most viable card i do believe right there
the blue out of 50. The Agile Collector says, hey, Jabs, hope you pull some fire in Group C. You should try to save some money on blasters and hangers at retailwax.com. That's a great tip. I'm going to make a note of that because um, I am always looking to find stuff for retail. Retail price, at least. So retail wax, I will check that out. Thank you very much for that tip. I have made a note, and I'll check that out after the break. And Andrew says, this five is for your daughter. Um, my granddaughter named her doll after her, Olivia. Say hi from Sophia to your daughter. She's eight. Andrew, when she gets here, I uh, I can tell her that for you. Thank you very much for the, the, uh, the chat there, man. Really appreciate that. Derek says, his Patreon boxes are just as good or better than most subscription boxes. I appreciate that, man. I think that, um, I guess my goal is to make it a little easier for you to get cards. Like, I know a lot of people can't get cards, and Heather says, uh, you know what, that's one of the nice things you, that you have going for you is you help people that can't get cards get cards because I just buy all these cases of blasters and just break them up and put them in packages for you guys and send them off that way so every month you can get at least get your blaster fix with some, you know, variety of other packs. They're fun to make up, too. I like making up those uh, those packages. Andrew says, Hey, Eric, I just realized you look a lot like Nick Foles. Have you heard that before? I don't know who Nick Foles is. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that up as well. Let me add that to my uh, stuff to look at here. Nick Foles, who's that? Things to do before going to bed tonight. Scott says, I ordered two Hobby Box from Steel City, and both are damaged. One has the topper coming out of it, and it's all messed up. Wow. Luckily, we haven't had any of that happen to us in any of our breaks. All of our boxes that you see here and we've opened before have all come from sealed cases. John says, have you ever thought about creating a new tier between the 51 and 99? Um, no, but now that you mention it, I, I mean, I could, but... Over the lifespan of my Patreon, I've actually recently reduced the amount of tiers just to make it a little easier on myself to be able to keep up with everything. Like, I got rid of the $50 tier. There's a Matt Foster. Nice one right there for the Chicago White Sox. A nice signature. White Sox are owned by Brandon Mayo. So, Brandon Mayo, you get that one. Also eliminated the $15 tier, which was just a couple newer packs. And they eliminated the $25 tier, which was a baseball and some newer packs as well. Just that it makes me more focused on just uh, just a few tiers rather than so many different ones. And it's, uh, it's helped me stay caught up each month and not fall too far behind. I think I've been pretty much on par all year with getting almost all the packages out before the end of the month. Michael Lee says, I'm really surprised by the value of the Patreon boxes. Getting access to exclusive content and the monthly cards is money well spent. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me that uh, you like the value there. Nick Foles is the Bears QB. MCB says, I ended up missing my invoice. was super busy. Let me know if there's any spots open up. We're all sold out. Um... The last spot would have been, if you would have grabbed that last spot, I think I sent you a, a reminder, but you would have ended up getting the Blue Jays in the last round. So just for fun, because the 30th spot when randomized went to the Blue Jays, Ishmael has it now. You can see basically maybe uh, what you're missing out on. Maybe that was a bad idea telling you that, because if we get a like a really great Vlad Jr. auto or something like that, it's probably going to make you mad. But we'll see. You would have had the Blue Jays. All right. So coming up in our next stack, we've got a Casey Mize, which we sleeve all of his card cards up. I must have things when you realize you're watching more jabs than Netflix. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And it's a Tejada. I have Netflix, but I don't think I've watched that in months. Texas Rangers hit. Stephen Morgan. That's, I believe, his second hit. Hey, MCB, I still have some more shirts. Um, I'll just continue dropping those in your break packages. 
from MCB. Uh, I've been donating some shirts to MCB to give away to kiddos at card shows, and as many as I can stuff in your box, I'll keep doing it. Jeff Becker says, for your information, there's a sports card show in Freeport, PA, July 9th and 10th. Freeport, PA, that's July 9th and 10th. That's a Friday and a Saturday. Um, Freeport, why do I not know where Freeport is? Is that kind of like, is that like Beaver County? I, I know you wouldn't know, Jeff. I'm going to have to look that up. Card shows, yeah, we need to get to, out to some more card shows. Some of the rural card shows can be the best ones. You have these guys that show up with their... 10 cent boxes. There's a nice Don Manning. I know John Corgus would love this card. This one goes to the Yankees, which are owned this round by Ryan Fogel. And I have a nice big stack of cards to send you, Ryan. Try to get those out within the next day or two. In terms of people that have breaks, I've worked uh, all day Wednesday, no, Tuesday on those. We've got every $3 member break out from A through P, I think. So the R's are coming up next. And if, you, if you're on like a monthly tier, let's like say you're on like the $99 tier, then I have your stacks there as well. I'll just send those with your your breaks with your monthly package of this month, which I'll probably start those coming out here. I have everything. I might as well get those underway. Um, Maybe after a couple of days, maybe right at the 4th of July. Eric says, how many hours a day are you working with baseball cards? Today, I worked and maybe... 20 minutes, not that long. Well, I mean, before this break, obviously. It's four hours with this break. But um, I only did one... When I did four packages today, I did two new $51 members and got their stuff done for them and packaged up. And I packaged up and sent out Michael Janst's Saturday Showdown win from two weeks ago when he won the case of... Um, Jumbo 2021 Series 2. It ended up taking a large flat rate box and a medium flat rate box. Justin says, looks like Freeport's outside of Pittsburgh near Apollo. Okay, that's not too far. That might be an hour from me. I could probably swing that one, depending on the times. See if the kiddos want to head to a card show. Heather's really good with entertaining them. I know that most of the kids would be bored out of their mind at the card show, except for Timmy. So last card show we went to was at a mall, and she walked them all around the mall and took them to a candy store and let them all pick out, uh, you know, their own candy. They all had a little bag of candy and chocolate when they came back. They were all super excited about that. And we have a hit, another Mariners hit. It's Johan Ramirez from the Mariners, who's got a really cool signature. Mariners with uh, another hit. Ryan Figgle, congrats on that one. Mariners getting a lot of autographs tonight so far. Nolan Ryan, that's a good-looking card right there. Jacob says, when does PSA open up again for submissions? I believe they open up in, is it July sometime? There's Jazz Chisholm. The uh, Once PSA decided they weren't going to accept cards anymore, that kind of let all the air out of the bubble. I think... If we look at an exact time frame with all the cards hitting a big downturn in value in terms of graded cards especially, it seems to be probably, was that right around when PSA announced, we're done, uncle, enough already, we can't handle any more cards, don't send us any more cards for the next three months? I think it was like right around there, now that I think about it. And man, if cards been going down, that's a good, good, good test in some players. I've been investing in Luis Robert and buying his PSA 9 and 10 rookie cards. They're super cheap right now compared to where they were. His PSA 10 at its pinnacle uh, back in like February was like a $220 card. Now it's 50 bucks, I think. Something like that. It's crazy low right now. PSA 10 base rookie. I think his uh, Chrome rookie is like a $75 to $80 card right now. Chris says, I bet Eric uh, does a lot of extra work that people don't even know. I know that on Monday, um, I worked literally, I think it was like around the clock all day on getting packages shipped. But um, today, we, uh, what did we do today? Let me think. So first off, 
Um, I went over to Heather's house at 10.15 a.m. and we went to Dave & Buster's, took the kiddos to Dave & Buster's and played games there for a little while because uh, if you have, I don't know if you have a Dave & Buster's near you, but Wednesday around here at least is the half price day. You can get twice as much games in for the same amount. Everything's half price. There's Julian Merriweather for the Blue Jays. This is the next hit. Stephen Morgan racking them up. So we went out to Dave & Buster's and then after that we went to Burgatory. Had a nice, I, I think that's the first cheeseburger that I had in a very, very long time. And um, then what did we do? We came back to my house for a little while and hung out. Then we went over to Heather's house. She made us all dinner. And then um, Heather and I parted away. She took four of our kids off to a Heather night out. And um, I took the other two put them to bed started the break there's a brady singer dylan carlson Buffa says kind of funny matt strom is talking about um cards on the angels rain delay he's talking about the pete alonzo super factory pulled from finest 2020 matt strom yep he is a huge card collector i don't know if you know about the padres relief pitcher matt strom pretty decent pitcher and i think he's been hurt has he played this year yeah i know he was hurt for most of the at least the beginning of the season but he opens cards up on Strom Stadium Pools, does a nice job, and that's pretty cool, man. Maybe when the Padres are in town in Pittsburgh, I'll have to go and see if I can say, hey, hey, uh, Matt, you want to come over here and sit in the stands and open a box with me or something? There's a Nate Pearson. They could probably do that. That'd be cool. They kind of protect those that handicap section in PNC Park like it's... Uh, Fort Knox, so I'm sure if Matt Strom wanted to sit with me in the handicap section, the usher would probably allow it. I haven't been to PNC Park in a while, but I was pretty cool with all the ushers, and they would always let me stand in there. If, I, if there's, like, nothing else going on, it's a good place to go and get close to the players. i to check when the Padres were in Pittsburgh. They only come in once a year. Maybe they've already been here. All right, that pack felt kind of thick. Thomas says, oh, he's still home hurt. Yeah, he's been... Was it a knee issue with him? I can't exactly remember. There's a Yachty or Molina. I know our Padres fans would know. Nice um, hit right there. That one's going to go to Timmy. Let's see what else we've got coming up. There's Nick Castellanos, Shohei Otani, with his 28 dingers. Mike Trout. Haven't found any Trout autographs from this. Christian Javier. That's another Houston Astros hit. Houston is Chris Paparelli for break B. That's, uh, I think that's our second Christian Javier, actually, from this round. Yadi Molina, the one of the slowest players around. There he is. Corey Clearer, we've got a Chrome Anthony Rizzo. Jason says, would love a Van Slyke audited by you. That's That would be pretty cool. Yeah, Van Slyke was my favorite player as a kid growing up, for sure. Still is one of my all-time faves. Next stack. Used to love the way he would play the game. He could hit. Man, could he feel making the diving catches out there and the home run saving catches. Kind of uh, a lot of parallels between Grady Sizemore and Andy Van Slyke, I feel like. They played recklessly and uh, ended up cutting their careers short. Van Slyke was pretty much out of baseball after like the 95 season or so. I think he like caught on with, uh, was it like the Phillies and Orioles for short stints? It's like definitely was the man there, but he would go into walls to catch those uh, fly balls out in center field. Uh, Andrew, I did not see that one. Van Slyke, yeah, what was it, 84 tops? I think I, I think my favorite rookie of Van Slyke is 84 Donruss. That's a, that's a cool one right there. 84 Donruss is such a tough set to get anymore just because they're so expensive per box. So Kirloff, those were like super expensive even before the boom. I can't even imagine what they are now. 
Got a hit right there, Raphael Marchand from the Philadelphia Phillies. That one goes to Jason Martin. So, Jason, congrats on the hit. Garrett Cro Crochet is a nice one. Dylan Carlson as well. Jazz Chisholm right there. Rufa says, how old are you, by the way? I am 40 years old. I started collecting cards in 1989 after finding the 89 Van Slyke in a pack. That was the card that got me addicted to cards. There's a nice Griffey in there, by the way, along with the Pache. James said, I just pulled a Key Brian Hayes from a Stadium Club Blaster. That's a great pull right there. Congrats, James, on that one. Uh, Key Brian Hayes Auto is usually worth around 100 bucks, even for base cards, it seems like. Definitely a good one. I accidentally just hit a button there. Let me get that back. I have my computer screen nearby it's kind of like a cheat sheet so i can keep track of everything going on tell you who's got what card in the break here we go with a nice Bo bichette box topper for the blue jays steven getting that one and here's our next stack of cards Rufa says, 40 years young. Eric, love the content. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I wish my back was better. I've been wanting to do like a wiffle ball series for like a couple of years now, but I would be the worst player in that series because I can't really do too much of anything. James says, we have tons of blasters at Walmart in Toronto. That's pretty cool. We still don't have them around here. Angels fan says, what are the instructions for the 95,000 subscriber giveaway? It's just going to be a subscriber giveaway, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you're a public subscriber. That way we know that you're a subscriber because in, a, in the YouTube analytics page, you can see uh, what percentage you're a subscriber. I think it's like 55% of my viewers are subscribed and like 45 are not. So we want to make sure we want to get those numbers up. I mean, imagine getting those numbers way, way up. We have a lot more subscribers on our hands, so you have to be publicly subscribed. To do that, you go into your settings, go to privacy, and you'll see it. Just toggle the uh, subscriptions on. Man, this, this particular box is tough. It seems like half of the cards are flipped upside down. Usually, it's just maybe like three cards per box. This one's been a tough one. There's a nice Mike Trout virtual reality. Hey, MCB with the Super Chat says, Eric, thank you for the T-shirt. You're not just the best content creator. You're an amazing person. I'm starting to upload a backlog of content and grow my YouTube. Any help would be appreciated. Awesome, man. MCB, thank you very, very much. Yep, I have a bunch of leftover t-shirts. They're all brand new with like $25 to $30 price tags hanging off of them. And um, I'm uh, MCB said that he donates those to kiddos. So I've been sending all of my inventory to him. And I appreciate the super chat. Hope you guys will check his channel. Honestly, he's trying to grow his channel. I don't know if you got my most recent package, but I think I jammed at least like five or six shirts in there. And I'll keep doing it with your breaks until uh, we run out of them. Next up, uh, MCB, um, after that, if you'd like some, um, what have I got? Starting lineups, I'd like to donate those. I've got a bunch of those as well. There's a nice Dylan Carlson. Jake Cronenworth. Probably can't fit as many of those as t-shirts, but. Uh, Anthony says, I pulled a Key Brian Hayes auto out of 99 green parallel out of Series 2. Silver Hogback, how much do you think that worth? Wow. Um, first, look on eBay. That's going to be your best indicator. Shogo, second Shogo autograph. For a second, I already thought that was Otani, just the way it caught my eye. That one goes to Scott DeMoss. I hope I said that right. Scott You've got a Shogo coming your way. Congrats. And that will do it for that. But the Key Brian Hayes, green 99. Well, his just base out of a silver pack worth like 30 bucks. At least it was when they first came out. You're probably looking at a card worth a few hundred dollars, I would imagine. Great pull right there for sure. And JVK, John says, did I hear about the Trevor Bauer news? Yeah, very unfortunate. Hate to hear that kind of stuff and uh we'll see uh danny says i got my 51 dollar box as well as my yankees team break i love that roger clemens seven out of seven thank you jabby 
For all you do, go Padres. Yeah, that's a great card right there. Roger Clemens. Seven-time Cy Young Award winner. Barry Bonds, seven-time MVP award winner. Neither is in the Hall of Fame. We'll see if they end up getting in in their final year of eligibility. And we have Monte Harrison for the Marlins. Another auto right there for Sean Christensen. So, Sean, congratulations on that one. I like Monte Harrison. I think he's a, he's a decent young player. We'll see. What happened with Bauer and Aaron? We're not going to talk about it here because it's uh, got kids watching, but... You can Google it on you, uh, not YouTube, but uh, just Google it and you'll see. MCB says, I have some cards I want to send you. Some for Mystery Pack Monday, some for a Pirates fan that lives at your house. Some autographs and jerseys for the uh, for the giveaway. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. I'll keep an eye out for those. Just write Mystery Box Monday on it and um, I'll put that in our, maybe not our next Mystery Box Monday. I don't know. We'll have to see how much we already have saved up for that, but we'll definitely get in it within the next week or two. There's a nice Joe Adele Chrome card right there for the Angels. Chrome Rookie Adele is a nice one. Key Brian Hayes. Andrew says, have a good night. I have to drive early in the AM. High five. Andrew, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And thanks for hanging out here tonight. Yeah, those early wake-up calls come quick for sure. I know that. I have a long commute uh, every day to work. Um, luckily, I'm off this summer. It's one of the perks of teaching, but I'll have to get back on that grind in the next, uh, what have we got? Probably like two months left of sleeping in till, I don't really sleep in. I think I'm usually up by seven or eight every day now, but it's a lot better than getting up at five for sure. Bill, hey man, I just did Michael, your, your co-winner. I did his cards today and I'll probably get your cards tomorrow the next day. Zane says, um, how do I do it where you send me a card? Zane, are you talking about like um, the five, the uh, every 5,000 giveaway that we do? If it's that, you just have to be subscribed and you have to, you have to have your name drawn. The way that works, I'll just post a video. I'll say 95,000 subscriber giveaway and uh, tell you how to enter. And I'll, basically, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment on that video. Then we'll just randomly choose comments from that video. If we're talking about this and getting your name on one of these cards, which I don't know where my Break B card went to. I should put that back. Sorry about that. But if you'd like to participate in one of these breaks, you have to be um, a Patreon member, which is $3 per month. Higher tiers get cards sent to you each month. Yep, we're on group B. I think I accidentally um, picked up the car there because I have these in 5,000 count boxes and I label them. I just set the uh, I set the break B right on top of that line of cards so that when I go to, to uh, sleeve these up and everything I, and sort them, I can keep them all straight. Here we go with the next round. Hey, we got Juan gone again. So we had him in the first round. We get him in the second round. Steven having himself a break with all the autos. X is off to give you something for 100K. Also, I'll have to hook up the other moderators. Ike, that is a very awesome offer, man. I got a whole bunch of stuff for you that I just need to send out. Um, keep an eye out on stamps because that's... I know I have a really nice Jordan Alvarez that I have. It's out of one of those $500 boxes that I opened up. That's on your stack for sure, because I know that you're an Astros fan. That's literally the best Astros card that I have. That's in there along with other boxes. Got to get that out. ASAP. I'm going to make a note to do that. Ike sent me a really awesome painting. As you might remember, he's just uh, super talented for sure. And Ike, we'll be coming to the Nationals, so we will look for you there. Don't know what day yet. There's Joe Adele. And it uh, looks like probably just one day we'll be there. I don't think the kiddos are going to be able to do more than one day. There's a Greg Maddox right there. Low Kane. 
We got Bo Bichette, red foil, and James Caprillion. Nice rookie right there. Booth 923. I'll find you, man. I'll see your artwork before I see you. That's what will draw me to it. A mess of things says, what's the biggest number of identical autograph cards you've seen in one place? I don't know. You'd have to go back to those 2019 breaks, and it would be the Cedric Mullins repeats. I feel like some large case breaks, we'd have like a dozen Cedric Mullins autographs just all over the place. It was almost comical. But if you're talking about like a collection of autos with all the same, I've, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen a large number that I can remember off the top of my head just all laid out. There's some people that have buy collections of autographs and might have those at a card show. Key Brian Hayes, once again, Enforcer, finding a lot of his cards. Hey, there's the autograph. It slips out of my hands there. It's Andre Jimenez for the Mets. Mark says, I'm just opening up my $51 Patreon box. Wish me luck. All right, Mark, good luck to you. Hope you find some good stuff. Mets are owned by Ryan Fogel. So, um... You have that Series 2 blaster box in there. That Hopefully you get something good out of that Bowman pack from 2021. Maybe we get a couple nice rookies from the 2021 Series 1 pack. I'm asking the things. You might have 50 Lariano cards. That's a lot, man. That is a, a big collection right there. Ron Lariano definitely has the potential to probably be a star someday. Mike Trout. Speaking of stars... Andrew says, could you imagine if they still made manager cards in modern sets, how terrible that would be? It's a nice 30 years logo. We haven't seen any of those yet, I don't think. Get that one, sleeve it for the Braves. Yeah, I used to hate manager cards as kids, as a kid. Just not a big fan. I used to hate checklist cards and manager cards. I felt like I was being ripped off. Some of those manager cards weren't too bad. Like if you got like a Frank Robinson, that would be cool. Or a Pete Rose, that was cool back in the day because they were like uh, major stars in their time. But if you got like a Dallas Green manager card, you're like, well, I don't want this. This Dallas Green, Jim Fregosi. I used to hate Don Zimmer cards back then. Of course, the infamous John Wathen manager cards. Ian Anderson for the Bravos. JPZ says, how does this guy not have more followers? He has tons of baseball knowledge, gives good commentary, and has a voice that isn't annoying. Thank you very much, man. Hopefully, you know, eventually we get more followers. But I appreciate the kind words. Bill says, most people threw those away and now need them for sets. That's the same instance with the checklists. The checklists from, like, the 50s and 60s, they're pretty valuable, especially if they're unmarked, because a lot of kids back then would just check off the cards on there. Of course, that was before the internet and stuff, so you didn't know who was in the set unless you had a checklist. Now you can just go to CardboardConnection.com, and the whole list is there. You can just print that out. Thanks, JPZ. I appreciate that. John P. says, the 72 is the ultimate manager card, isn't it? Yeah, the Billy Martin 1972, that's the what I call the middle finger card. Billy Martin is standing off to the side of the batting cage, and if you look closely at his hand on the bat, he is clearly extending his middle finger down the bat. Here's a nice rookie auto. Tariq Scooball from the Detroit Tigers. Jason Martin gets this one. He's right up there with Casey Mize. Not quite as good pedigree as Mize, but a nice rookie nonetheless. Small Town says, I'm doing anything special for 100K. You betcha. I'm trying to think. I, I've got a couple ideas, which I'll just kind of bounce off you. I'm thinking about buying like a PSA 10 trout and giving that away. Um, maybe doing a couple auctions to raise the funds for that, selling off some of my cards. That's like, uh, I think those are like $3,200 a piece. And uh, maybe another thing I have in mind is maybe giving away a thousand cards, but that would be a really long live stream. But then a lot of, at least the regular watchers that are publicly subscribed would Almost all seemingly win a card. A mess of things says, where are the umpire cards? That's a good question. They actually made an umpire set in 1990. I saw it at a card show. I almost bought it, but it was like 80 bucks for a box of umpire cards. Like, do I really need to find a Joe West 1990 umpire card that bad? But they did make umpire cards. I don't know if you can still find those on eBay or not, but I think it was like around 1990. I tried to look for the year on that. 
Yep, um, I guess <laughs> it seems like the only umpires whose names that I really know are the bad umpires. Like everyone knows Angel Hernandez because he's very, very controversial. And um, Joe West and other controversial guys. Christian Pache. Ryan Mountcastle. Uh, Frank Thomas giving the middle finger as well. Yeah, what was that? Was that 91 upper deck? And there's a nice Esteban Floreal for the Yankees. That one goes to Ryan Fogel. So Fogel with another hit. Congrats on that nice one right there. <laughs> Tippy T says, I want a Joe West card to throw darts at. Yeah, Joe West, I think he's the long is he the longest tenured umpire now has appeared in the most amount of games ever. There's Key Brian Hayes. Which is a very good one right there. Getting lots of Key Brian Hayes for Enforcer in that coveted pirate spot. There's Ichiro. That's the chrome card of the box. Nice one right there for the Mariners. And anything else in here? At least they made that easy and had a whole big run of cards that were all facing the same direction. Like that one a lot. Here's the final box for break B. This is box number 10 in this round. So this marks the halfway point of the break. We're almost at the two-hour mark. We'll probably just clock in a little under two hours. It took 15 minutes to randomize all the teams. So that kind of skews that official halfway mark just a little bit. It's 15 minutes less at the end that we'll need. All right, last round for break B. Good luck to everybody. We'll have break C coming up here shortly. And then probably won't have another stadium club break for a while. I haven't decided yet what we're going to do on this Saturday for the showdown. Thinking about either select again, because I did like all of the numbered cards coming out of select. That was a good thing. I've got a select case or two that we could do. I've also got a jumbo case of tops. Now, tops has way less. Um, I'm flip these this way because I think they're might be less facing that wrong way. The tops case will have less numbered cards. So I don't know. We'll see, but there's not any really other new releases to talk about or feature. Definitely not gonna feature Stadium Club in a Saturday showdown because I think we've only found two numbered cards tonight out of 20 boxes so far. So that would be the most boring Saturday showdown ever. <laughs> And uh, somebody would end up taking them the case with a really low, not low, but a really high number card. Jeff with some information there for people that like to get cards for a retail price. Says Target still has five baseball products available. Diamond Kings, Absolute, Heritage, Series 2 Blasters, and Series 2 Hangers. So the only thing that's gone are the world's greatest pack chase boxes and... Bowman, those are the only ones that have sold out so far. Lots of baseball still available. Target didn't drop baseball for like two weeks in a row, so they've got three weeks of stuff all saved up to purge right now, and they are putting them all out there at once. So if you want to get some baseball cards at retail price, I would recommend it. We've got a Andy Young. That one goes to the Diamondbacks. That's Brett Parker. So, Brett, congratulations on the Andy Young on-card auto. The second to last autograph of this particular round. And a super chat just popped up from John Blackwell. It says, I've been watching for a few months and been a member for a couple. Love your breaks. Thank you. John, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't know if you're the same John Blackwell that pulled the Mike Trout. Uh, John and Annie Blackwell pulled a Mike Trout out of, I think it was our two Mike Trout breaks ago. But guess what? We've got another one coming up potentially July 8th, which is just over a week away. I really appreciate that super chat, John. Thank you very much. Hope you guys will check out John's channel if he has any content. As we now check out the last stack of Break B. One more autograph. We'll see who it's going to be. Right now, Weekend Rip says, I absolutely love Toss, but how long can they possibly hold the exclusive rights to the logos? I think it's a few more years. I, I, I want to say 
I don't know the exact years. Andrew says the giveaway should be 2011 Tops update. So you're thinking the Mike Trout PSA 10? Maybe, yeah. I, I was thinking about maybe selling some of my cards off auction style to raise money to buy. Maybe I'll buy a PSA 10, PSA 9, and PSA 8 and just give away a, a collection of Trout rookies. There's Luis Garcia for the Nationals. That's our final hit. That's for Keel Rucker. So, Keel, congratulations. A nice red. Sometimes those red autos are numbered. It is numbered on the back. It is numbered 20 out of 50. The red foil autographs do have a number. And 357 says, are you and Heather going to be at the National? If so, what days? We are going to be there just one day, it looks like. I have a 18 update Chrome Otani Auto Orange Refractor at 25. I might get graded at the National. 357, I know that you are in the Chicago area, by the way. I don't know if you saw our break of the, the moderator break. I tried to pick you some nice Chicago hits that were available. I... I think I have your address saved in stamps. I'll try to get those out to you before the national, but I'm not sure exactly which day we're going yet, but it's probably just going to be one day. There's Bobby Dalbeck. Let's make a, uh, make a run out there. Probably about a seven hour drive to Chicago, eight hour drive to Chicago. And then get right back here for who knows. I don't know what's coming out. I think there's something coming out then. I just can't remember off the top of my head. And the last couple cards here. I really appreciate that, 357. Thank you very much for the super chat. I don't know if you had a chance to check that select break, but I just moved those all downstairs today onto my sleeving table. So they were up here, and I think that was the last live stream I did in, in my break room on... When was that? Was that Monday night? Sunday night, I can't remember, but I moved those all downstairs. So they're on the sleeving table now, and... Get those all sleeved up and sent out to you soon. Uh, Alex V with a question says, I have a question on Patreon. I subscribe today at the $26 tier, and Patreon says my membership renews tomorrow. Will I get my box for June and July? Yep, you'll get them both. Um, I might even just ship them together and get those out uh, hopefully early to you. But yeah, if you paid for if you even if you signed up here with the next hour and a half or whatever it is, the midnight deadline, you'll still get your junior one. So what it does is it puts you on um, it puts you on a list, and it and you'll be on the twenty six dollar list. It'll just say like uh, June next to your name. So you'll, you'll be on the June and the July list. Thank you very much for the support, man. Really appreciate that. Here's break C starting right now. So everyone in break C, if you've waited for the last two hours, thank you very much for being patient. And now, if you want to know exactly where you fall in this break, you can check out the description we randomized the spots put your names there randy johnson's the first box topper for jace lanning let's see what we can find mcb says nice job i like psa much more than bgs i like the size of the slab me too i'm just a P, uh, psa guy i know some people like bgs a lot uh, there's some new entries coming out now like hga and and so on but um for me even though psa it's very, very, um, can be frustrating. That's still what I like the best. When is there going to be another fishing for trout like mystery break? Well, I haven't done any mystery box Monday live streams in a while, and I just reached out to Jack Holland, or not Jack Holland, um, Jack Townsend today, and uh, we're talking numbers right now. Uh, Bill says, Can you please send me your um, address for the Barry Bonds paper. I had it somewhere. I usually have a little card nearby, but I think it got buried underneath this collection of spacers. I'll write it out to you. Uh, I'll write it out here for you. Gotta make another one. It's Jab's Family, P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity. PA15676. There it is, Bill. It's probably easier just to pause that and grab that on there. Really appreciate that, man. I'll try to get your case out to you either today or tomorrow. We'll see. James says, can you invoice me for a box of select? Didn't I do that already? I can't remember if I thought I did. There's a Ken Griffey Jr., so a nice start for the Mariners. Jace, nice box topper. Now a nice Griffey to go with it. And the Mariners have been having some good luck with autos, so we'll see if you have an autograph coming up as well. Seems like every round they've had at least one or two autographs. Let's see what we can find in this particular round. 
can tell these, this is from a different case. The cards are not as annoying as the last one. There's Mark Mathias from the Brew Crew. Mark Mathias, Milwaukee Brewers, Michael Martell gets this one. Michael, you got the first autograph of the night with the Brewers. Brewers have been pretty consistent with autographs. I think we've found at least one in every round for the Brew Crew. I don't know why I only brought up one 5,000 count box. I've already got four rows of it filled out of the five. Gonna need another box soon. I might have to run downstairs and grab that at some point. Or if Heather gets back in time, I'll just ask her to head downstairs. I have a whole bunch of 5,000 count empty boxes down there now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside or put these in here. Next stack up, let's see what we can find. For the folks in Break C, one autograph is in the books. Sam wants a big time hit. Let's hope we can find a nice big hit. That would be pretty nice. I do like opening series two because of the golden ticket aspect, the celebration of decades ticket, the tickets that go for like $30,000, that special exclusive tops party. Heather says we're on our way. Okay, Heather, there they are. They're coming back. Nice orange, Bichette and Vladdy. Well, Heather, we're going to be breaking till about midnight tonight, I figure, or so, maybe just a tad after, so... I think we'll have to stick to the plan with what you said, and uh, maybe you could give the remaining kids their baths and get them to bed. EJ and Emmy Lou have been out for some time. Got them to bed right at uh, a little after eight, and uh, they're super good at going to sleep. There's Starling Marte. That's a good one right there for the Marlins. So congrats. Who's got the Marlins? I gotta look around my light here. Jonathan A. with the Starling Marte hit right there. Great hit for sure. Starling Marte, former All-Star, like the veteran autographs, personally. I think they're pretty awesome. Starling Marte, great hit. Casey Mize. Uh, Roxy says, if you could only pick one hobby box, would I go with Absolute Stadium Club or Series 2? Oh, man, that's a tough one. I, if you're just going to give it to me for free... Oh, it'd probably be Stadium Club or Absolute just for the autographs because I know there's guaranteed autographs. Um, I used to have an Absolute box in there, but I sent it off to, I think, Nick. Um, he grabbed that one off of me, so I don't have anyone to look at, but I think there's four hits in Absolute. Two autos, two relics. It might be Stadium Club out of this if you're just going to give me a box for free. Here's box number two. Mike Trout. James says there's a problem. It's so... Uh, I don't know if I have any extra large shirts left. All Most of these shirts that I'm sending to MCB, those are smalls. Because um, nobody buys small shirts when I used to have those. There's always a whole bunch of extra inventory that left over. Tammy says, I went to Walmart and got your first blaster of Stadium Club today. Okay. I have to keep a lookout for that this weekend in my Walmart stock. I was hoping I could find some last week, but... Got a little extra time Friday morning now with uh, probably not going to do a live stream because the target drop happened today, so we won't have to go live this Friday morning. It was fun doing those Friday live streams. Maybe we'll do it again sometime, but I don't think I'm going to be live this Friday morning with no, with a almost a guaranteed lock to have no cards. It'd still be nice to open cards for you on a Friday morning, but I don't know if I want to get up at 6 a.m. to do so. Was that Marte a red? It should be numbered. It was a red. Good eye there, Brian. And uh, it is numbered also. It's a 43 out of 50. Those red foil autographs, they're out of 50. So that sweetens the pot a little more for you, Jonathan. Congratulations. James, I can buy Stadium Club Blasters here in Toronto and ship for retail. That would be awesome. I don't know what the, uh, the shipping is going to cost you, though, getting it across the border. That's the problem with the Canadian breaks. It just costs so much more to ship stuff. There's Key Brian Hayes. So if 
I mean, I, I have to get that Canadian tier done so that uh, you guys can get involved as well. Look at this. What a nice box. Estalia Marte and now Kenny Lofton. Kenny Lofton should get some more credit uh, for what he's done. That goes to the Indians, which this round is Anthony Lopez and breaks the Anthony Lopez with the Kenny Lofton on-card auto. Man, was he a great hitter. Or a great leadoff hitter. I mean, he wasn't the greatest hitter, but he had some speed. I used to love watching Kenny Lofton. Um, Puma says, I bought a 2019 Topps Heritage and Chrome 2019 update for 100 each. Do you think I got ripped off? Uh, 2019 Topps Heritage, if that was a blaster, you got ripped off. Unless it was, um, unless you're talking about like a, I don't know if a high number blaster goes for that nowadays. It probably does, honestly. But uh, let's check eBay. I don't know what those go for right now. Joker Dog says, choose one. Pete Rose or Mickey Mantle. That's an easy choice. It's Mickey Mantle. <laughs> Don't have to think too much about that. Mickey Mantle, I was always uh, partial to Mickey Mantle anyway as a kid. Mickey Mantle was my uh, dad's favorite player when he was a kid, so he was always a huge Mantle fan. And so I was a Mantle fan as well. There's no limit. That's awesome, man. So you could buy like 20, 30 blasters if you wanted to. Yeah, I would say definitely. I just don't know what the shipping is going to be like. Uh, Eric says, did I si ship the Series 2 hobby already? Your stuff um, was already shipped. Eric Ballin, if I'm not mistaken, you shipped a day or two ago. All that stuff uh, is in the mail. Check the stamps.com or um, check your email that's associated with your PayPal address. It should go in there. Ryan McMahon, Anderson Tejeda. If you have a uh, if you have a monthly package coming to you, I probably held it back. I can't remember if you're a three dollar member or not. If you're a three dollar member, then it's out. If it's uh, if not, then it's coming with your monthly package. Tim L says that I need to listen to the new Ryan Al Adams album, Big Colors. I love it. I'll have to check it out. I haven't really ever listened to too much Ryan Adams, so I'll give it a try there. And Chris Bryant is the last one in that one. This round C, that's two boxes done for round C. A really nice Mike Trout box topper in there for our Angels owner. Let's go to the next box and see what we can find. Jake Crenoworth rookie box topper is a nice one. Christopher says, I remember them discovering that Mandel's first rookie was 51, not 52. Yeah, 51 Bowman. Steve says, which is a good value on Patreon? Well, if you take a look at the um, all the, the, the sign-up page, everything is listed there to tell you what you can get. Um, the most popular two tiers are the $51 and $99 tier. Those are the ones that most people sign up for to get monthly cards sent to you. Um, the $99 tier gets two blasters, a fat pack, and six additional packs each month. Sent priority mail. And the $51 tier gets um, one blaster and four packs. So it's basically the 51's like half, a little bit half of uh, as good as the $99 tier, except you don't get the fat pack tossed in as well. Isabel says, how was your day? Pretty good. And look at this, Dale Murphy. What a good round. We're having a lot of uh, veterans and uh, um, just former stars there. Dale Murphy for the Braves. This one goes to John Purney. John, congratulations. Dale Murphy, a lot of people love this guy and think he should be a Hall of Famer. He might get in someday. Uh, James says, how many blasters would I want? I would want as many as I could get, but it all depends on the price point. You'd have to let me know what it would take from uh, like the final overall price, including shipping. There's an Alex Kirloff. That's a yeah, that's a great card, Dale Murphy. So this case is um, you know pretty good so far with three solid autographs all in a row here. Nice Cody Bellinger Chrome Refractor. Does that include shipping, James? The twenty four ninety nine each. 
excellent. Also, I don't know if the Canadian um, in the uh, Canadian currency changes that price at all. There's Frank Thomas. I would do that. Uh, what what exactly do they have up there, James? Tell me again. It's Isaac Paredes. Uh, Dalton Varsho and Denilson Lamet is the last one right there. The baseball kid said I got my first pack and the an Ernie Banks rookie, 54 Banks, really? That's pretty awesome. No, it says, would you recommend getting Series 1 hobby or Stadium Club hobby? Well, I, probably Stadium Club would be a better choice because of the two guaranteed autographs. I like... I might sound crazy, but I think I like the base cards better in tops. I like the rookies. I like the parallels that you can find in there better. There's really no parallels in the stadium club at all. Like um, the parallels in here are, I don't want to be rude, but the parallels in the stadium club are basically a joke. It's like the red foil names and the black foil names, and then occasionally a blue foil name. That's really nothing to get excited about at all. But there's way more autographs, which is very, very appealing to most people. And so, I mean, that's that's the trade-off. You don't get any good parallels, but you do get two on-card autos in every box. So it's up to you. Like, that's a parallel. I don't really think that, honestly, that's, to me, these reds are worth as much as just the base. Might as well just save us some time and not even make those red parallels or flip the cards around. Here comes a Wade Boggs insert, 91. Got a autograph of Johan Ramirez, second one that we've pulled so far. This one goes to the Seattle Mariners, Jace Lanning, with another no, Wait, Jace no. What we got here, Seattle Mariners, yeah, Jace Lanning in break C. I'm trying to make, I should highlight this break so I know that I'm on this one. I got four, there's four different lists I'm looking at. Congrats, we're on break C, Jace. Mike Trout red, Freddie Freeman red, Dylan Carlson. MCB says, I, I never understood why a product that has premium stock photos didn't make variations of photos. Yeah, that's another thing. I don't, you know, the, I feel like the short prints and the super short chase and, and tops is much better. I like the chase of the uh, golden ticket, so to speak, in that. I just, the, rel, the relic situation in tops is kind of a turn off. It's just three to one relics. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the average, your chances of finding an autograph are about one out of every four hobby boxes. And I proved that to you in our large scale case break where we opened like a hundred boxes and I literally kept a piece of paper with the auto to relic ratio and it was right, pretty much smack dab on that three to one ratio, which is three relics for every graph that we found. Which, I mean, I called it going into the break because that's what we have seen in previous years. But the, uh, the base set is just lots of little twists and turns with all those parallels and the icy parallels and the the silver packs look at this look at this it's an autograph it's an autograph box topper our first one out of uh, i don't know 100 boxes or so that we've opened uh, when i saw it i i looked at the back just briefly i saw it was out of 10 hand numbered out of 10 three of 10 this one goes to the yankees it's a davy garcia autograph box topper and that one's going to Matthew Klein. So Matthew Klein with the autograph box topper. You don't see that. Those are tough, tough to find. I think every box topper, there's 10 copies of them. They're super tough to pull, but you can find them autographed. It'd be man, it would be crazy if we found like the Willie Mays box topper autograph, which they're out there, but we'll have to take a Davey Garcia. He's a nice young prospect. Has crazy good strikeout numbers. He might be a star someday. And now you've got a back box topper, Matt. That's pretty awesome right there. Almost missed that one. I'm glad I didn't. I'm sure somebody would have pointed that out. That's a nice pull right there. Out of 10. <laughs> no way to sleeve that one. I will I don't know how I'm gonna protect that one, honestly. <laughs> Maybe wrap it in cardboard. Usually, uh, I put it in a crush-proof box at the bottom and have a bunch of cards on top of it. 
Yeah, I don't know. That's, man, it's tough to uh, figure out how to protect that. I don't know if there is a way. They used to give us big old wrappers so I could rewrap it. They used to put them in their own packs, their big giant packs. And I could just re, I would just reuse those and I would just put it back in the packs that they came in. But now they just float on the top of the box without any wrapping at all, which is kind of annoying. There's a nice Aloy Jimenez. And another great autograph. What a good round. Jazz Chisholm right now, one of the top rookies this year, goes to Jonathan A. So, Jonathan, you got paired up with the Marlins, and you got a Starling Marte autograph in the first box. Now you get their best rookie auto, Jazz Chisholm on card auto. And, uh, man, we've had a lot of good autographs this round. Break C, so far, the best one in terms of autos. Had a Kenny Lofton, Dill Murphy. I think Wong Gonzalez come out of this one, too. A very nice. Jonathan says, does that count as the auto for the box? No, that box topper auto doesn't count. It's like a bonus auto. We'll have one more autograph coming after your Jazz Chisholm right there. Good stuff from this box. This would definitely be an awesome box. If you were to have picked this one out at the card store, Sam says, loves him some Jazz Chisholm. Definitely, man. Key Brian Hayes is in that box. The auto is going to be in the next stack. They're pretty much divided. One stack gets an auto. The other stack gets an auto. That's the way it's just been. Sam says, these seem like there's some loaded boxes. Yeah, definitely. There's some boxes that are duds in terms of autos where you get like a just really crappy common autos. But, uh, man, you get some other great boxes. Jeff says, Wander Franco. Here it is. Four for 12 and batting 333 over his last three games. He raised his average up 60 points. Yeah, Wander. That average will be very volatile until the sample size gets bigger. He could go 0 for 4 one night and his average drops and just, just plummets and then go 3 for 4 the next night as the average shoots up. A lot of people watching him. We'll see how this season goes for Wander and... Look for him to be the number one card in 2022 going into Series 1. That's where I expect his rookie card to appear. I think he appeared too late in the season to make it into Topps Update this year. Topps Update this year kind of seems a little bit weak to me. Like, who do we have to look forward to in Topps Update? Jared Kelnick is probably the best rookie in Update. Uh, even though he was absolutely abysmal in his short stint in the major leagues. Jonathan India would be in there. Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn's probably number two. It's probably going to be Kelnick one. These are just the, like the preseason update rankings. What do you got, guys? Look at this. The Miami Marlins absolutely killing it. Luis Diaz now autograph for Jonathan A. So, Jonathan, it's your day, man. That's your third autograph out of this round. Marte, Jazz Chisholm, and Luis Diaz. Your mean Mercedes is falling like a shooting comet to me. He's, uh, I don't even know if he's going to end up in my top five for that set. Your mean Mercedes is hitting like 120 his last 30 games. His average is down to like 270, which if you take away his like 400 average in April, he's just having a terrible season. Only seven home runs, doesn't even like play every day anymore. I would add, honestly, if you offered me an Andrew Vaughn autograph and a Yermin Mercedes autograph, I would no hesitation pick Andrew Vaughn over Yermin Mercedes. And I think you'd be crazy if you thought uh, Yermin Mercedes was a better overall player than Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn will have his rookie card in that set as well. I mean, Vaughn doesn't have as good as numbers as Mercedes, but I, I bet you by the end of the season, he does for sure. I'd put Andrew Vaughn number two after Kelnick. And uh, number three, maybe Jonathan India. I'd have to look at the other rookie cards. We'll see who's going to show up in there. But your mean Mercedes right now is maybe number four, but that's without even seeing who else is in the set. For update. Update absolutely sucked last year, by the way. 2020 update. Probably the most disappointing set, um, at least since I've been back collecting. Jonathan said, I almost didn't even buy into this break. Glad I did. Yeah, with the random team breaks... It's pretty random, and uh, sometimes you really get lucky. There is a uh, Luis Robert. Brian says, true, Mercedes went down after his La Russa trouble. Yeah, he really went down. He's been... I mean, coming into the season, nobody really knew who he was anyway. I remember we pulled a Yemi Mercedes autograph. Was it out of, like, Series 1 before the season even started? And everyone was like, who's this guy? I was like, oh, he played in, like, one game last year. And then he was, like, the hottest rookie 
Yeah, 2020 update, Javier was just, um, Tops almost shouldn't even put that out. They did their best. They tried to make it work with uh, just all those, like, all-star MVPs and home run derby cards in there and stuff like that. But the rookie class, yikes. Randy Rosarena is a nice player, but that's not even his rookie card. It's his second rookie card. His real rookie card is in Series 1 in his Cardinals uniform. Mitchell says, happy to be finally part of your Patreon. Got my address and everything in there. Would the June $51 tier still be coming even though I just signed up on the last day of the month? Mitchell, great question. Yes. As long as you get it in there before uh, midnight tonight, you'll still get it. And um, it'll be a Series 2 blaster with four additional packs. One of those packs will be a 2021 Bowman pack. And I also will give you a Series 1 Tops pack, a Heritage pack, an opening day pack will all be in there. And look at this. We have another hit. It's a black nameplate. Edward Olivares. It goes to the Kansas City Royals, which is Cape Cod Junk Removal, which I believe is Richard O. It is numbered out of 25, 11 out of 25. So the black foil autographs out of 25. The red foil autographs are out of 50. We've seen a couple of those tonight. So that sweetens the pot a little bit, being numbered out of 25. We got Blake Snell, Pujols, and Jonna Heim coming up. There's Joe Adele. Let's see. There's Trevor Story, red, not numbered. Jeff says if Topps is really smart, they would put a Wander Franco super short print in 2021 update and save his flagship for Series 2. That's a great idea. Let's get that. Let's get that in their heads. That at least makes update worth buying. And we have some visitors. The kids are home. Hey. Hi. How was it? Good. Did you have fun? Yeah. Nice. Hey, guess what? Huh. You got the Cardinals in break B. Oh, he and did? you Yeah, because it was cool. randomized. And guess what? What? You pulled an autograph. Was it? You want to see who it is? Yeah. All right, the kiddos are home. Now, this was bought for you by Enforcer Tori, so you want to tell him thank you? Because I think he's watching right now. Thank you. Cody Whitley, red foil autograph, numbered out of 50. Whoa. So cool. Do you want it now, or do you want me to wait and top load it? Um, top load. I'll say wait and top load okay, it. Okay, we'll, we'll protect it for you. <laughs> Break B. Where's Heather at? Um, yeah. Um, this it took so long to get home. Me, Olivia, and everybody took so long. Like at five percent, then um, this will. Get back on. Okay. I'm gonna lay in the couch. Okay. Yeah, you guys gotta get a break. So the kid is around. They ate a lot of candy. Oh man, it might be tough getting in the bed tonight. They had a Heather night out tonight, and now they're back. And um, that was uh, Timmy's, uh, that was Heather's son Timmy, who's the baseball card collector of all the kids. Looking at this Cody Whitley autograph, bought by Enforcer Torres for him. And uh, Enforcer, that's uh, very, really, really kind of you, man. He's going to be super pumped to look through all those, especially once he wakes up a little more. Here's the next stack, by the way, for folks in break C. Oh, you can hear the bathtub going up there. They're getting their bath. Now, there's Chris Bubich. That one is for the KC Royals. So the Royals are for Cape Cod Junk Removal with their second one. Hype is here. Yeah, man, he's uh, super into cards. And um, cool stuff right there. You know, the seven-year-old into cards. I wish I was into cards when I was seven. Brian says, I can't wait to have the kids to have kids and get them into cards with me. Great moment, Jeffs. Thanks, man. We got Robbie here too, who throws 52 miles an hour. He's only nine years old. How was it? Good. We got a Bob Gibson. This one is out of 50 for the Cardinals. So break C getting this one. That one goes to Cameron. So Cameron, congrats on that one. And there's Alex Bregman. That's a chrome card. Looking for our next autograph. I can't remember if we pulled one yet or not with all the family coming home here. And 
looks like we did. So next stack up, or next box up. Hey Robbie, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you run downstairs and downstairs, like, you know where I have all the shelves where I keep all my baseball cards? There's like a closet in there. There's these empty boxes like this. There's like three of them. I mean, where, where do you keep your cards? Though? I don't know where the cards are. Well, you just find the closet downstairs, like in the back, you know where the trampoline is? Yeah. Well, to the left of that, there's like a closet that's open. It's like wide open. I have like like boxes and stuff there. Can you get it? See if you can find an empty box of these to okay. put these in. Thanks. We got Robbie on the, the hunt for another 5,000 count box. There's Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. Random says, how was your afternoon? Had a great afternoon, actually. We went to Dave & Buster's, we went to Burgatory. Heather cooked us all dinner. Did you find it? Thank you, yeah, because this one's almost filled up, so I'm going to use that one in here in a little bit. Okay. Hey, Brian, how's it going? We are on our fifth box of Stadium Club this round. We have five more. Here's the next hit. It's a shirt and apostle. There's two autographs per box. Tempest said that they went to Dave & Buster's also today. This one goes to BaseballCardOutlet.com, so congrats on that one. Yeah, the best day to go to Dave & Buster's is definitely Wednesday. A mess of things says, did you get any kazoos at Dave & Buster's? No, they got, you got a, what, a candy thing, candy rope? Yeah. And Timmy got, a, like, a kickball. And did you get anything else? We spent a lot of tickets playing Jurassic Park. And we're beating like all these boards, but the problem is that, um, yeah, when you play those games like Jurassic Park, those shooting games, the like arcade games, they don't give you any tickets, so you can play it, but you're not getting really getting rewarded for it. There's a nice Kyle Lewis Chrome, Cal Ripken. There's Dylan Carlson rookie card. Uh oh, sounds like Olivia's watching. What's she watching? Sniper Wolf again. Oh, boy. There's Marcel's. You know, Mess of Things says, my card has 400,000. Holy cow, man. How do you have 400,000 tickets on there? Uh, Tempest says, I got 15,000 tickets and I got a Hidden Treasures. Yeah, I saw those there. They're exactly 15,000. I was thinking about going for that, but um, we didn't get nearly enough tickets. I, I feel like the most tickets we got, we played a squirt gun game. Four of us played a squirt gun game and... The winner of that that got 400 tickets each round, so that was probably our, our biggest ticket winner. We'll have to, uh, we should do a video there. Yeah, we, we should have done that the whole time, and we would have got a lot of tickets. How fast did you throw today, 63? 63, 63 with the hyper pitch one. Robbie, it's not really accurate, though. Robbie did the hyper pitch. He's nine years old, and he threw 63. He throws a real baseball 52. Yeah, those balls are a little, little lighter, so they... Yeah, it's hollow. Yeah. It's just like those yellow balls that go into the pitching machine that we got. Yep. That's still pretty good, though. There's mm -hmm. A lot of adults that can't throw those 63, but if you hung out there all day. James says, what blasters am I looking for? I'm looking for Stadium Club and uh, Series 2 blasters. I forgot to open two packs. I do see those sitting there. And we have our next hit. It's Taylor Jones for the Houston Astros, which goes to Chris Mills. Chris Mills with the hit right there, a Taylor Jones rookie autograph right there. I tend to stay away from Panini Blasters because I feel like the, the Patreon members don't really like those that much. So, like, I would never send you a Panini Blaster. I try to only stick to Topps products, if you haven't noticed over the past year or so, if you've been on board. Let's do these last two and see. I don't think there's going to be an autograph in here, but let's see what else is coming up. I wish the Tops would just, like, partner with me and sell me cases for at cost. That would be awesome. We've got Clark Schmidt. There's 
an Alex Kirloff right there as well. And Dom Smith is the last one. So that box is in the books. I'm gonna, oh, I think we're filled up. And this 5,000 count box is completely filled. That's the thing that says, get good at Zombie Snatcher. Rack up the tickets, Zombie Snatcher. Can you do me a favor and move this onto the floor and put this up here? Yeah. Heather's in the room, everybody. So how was it? Good. Did they just like hang out and like, did they, was it cold? No. Can I tell everybody what they did? Yeah. The kids and Heather went out to a drive-in movie theater tonight and saw Peter Rabbit 2. Yeah, this, those are the ones that we're putting in the um, the kid packs that we're giving away at the baseball games. And those ones too, so maybe just put those off to the side. I just haven't been able to put those packs together yet. We've got a Cody Bellinger. James says, I have a hobby store here in Toronto that will give me certain hobbies and jumbos for cost. Man, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, some hobby stores are definitely can sell really low because they get them for pre-order. It's a heavy box, Heather, 5,000 cards. I thought that I was only going to need one of those. I, I For some reason, I underestimated the number of cards that were going to be in each round. I don't know how it happened. Maybe the, I thought there was going to be like roughly 1,000, 1,200 cards each round. What did I do wrong? Is there... Oh, how many packs per box? 16 times 8 times 10? How did I screw that up? I don't know. EJ and, Els er, EJ and Emmy went right to bed, no problem, as always. We got a numbered card right here, Ricky Henderson. It is a, I guess, a black nameplate stadium club. We'll get that one sleeved up for the Oakland A's owner. Luis Robert, one of my favorites. I feel like I buy a Luis Robert PSA 9 or 10 um, card every day off of eBay. Another probably thinks I'm crazy because I, I don't like how eBay notifies you that your listing is going to go up. So what I do is I find a listing that I want and then I set an alarm to go off roughly a minute to 30 seconds before the auction is going to end. That happened today, didn't it? Maybe a couple times. Because the, the notification on eBay, it tells me like 15 minutes before the auction is going to end. And that's just way too much time. And then I, I'm like, oh, I, okay. And then I forget about it and I miss it. A mess of thing says, Jelly Lab is another skill-based ticket fest. So we're talking about Dave and Buster's, how I went there today, and talking about tickets and stuff. And there's Tariq Scooball. That's a red, so it's out of 50. Two of 50 for the Tigers. That one goes to Victor Descanio. Congratulations. They said Zombie Snatcher and Jelly Lab are really good ticket builders. We should go back and do that video that we're talking about. I think that would be something different. And, you know, baseball re related, too, with the, the you know, the, the prize there. And they have a couple baseball games. They have the pitching one, and then I don't know if they still have that. That Did you see that baseball game anymore? Did they, I think it's just moved. It's just moved. That's it for that stack. Jackson, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. James says, is $2,400 a good price for Topps Luminaries? I can't remember what that goes for. It's been a while. Marcus is in the house. Hey, man, how's it going? I think I just sent uh, your recent breaks out to you yesterday. They should be there pretty soon. And a mess of thing has the link. Or Jeff has the link to a mess of things channel. If you'd like to check him out, thank you very much for the support and the tips tonight. A mess of things. Devils Hockey says Stadium Club or Select. That's a tough question. Select is a more pricey product. It's maybe, uh, I don't know, $80 more a box, $70, $80 more a box. Get more hits in Select, but I don't know. I feel like between the two, I would go with Stadium Club because. I'm a tops guy. There's Luis Castillo. It had a terrible start to the year. Starting to, you know, get those numbers back down and a little more respectable. Joshua Craycraft. A mess of things said, I played a whole nine innings against my friend on the baseball game. <laughs> that's that's pretty awesome. 
Yeah, I do like all those different um, all those different games you can play, Dave and Buster's. Maybe we'll do a video there one of these days, just for something different. I'm trying to rack up the tickets. That would be really cool if uh, Dave and Buster's would start putting like hobby boxes or blaster boxes in there. I think that would be awesome. I mean, they'd have no trouble with people picking those up. And obviously they're gonna make money on all that because the, if their blaster box is priced at like 5,000 tickets or whatever, it probably costs somebody like 60, 70, 80 bucks to get that many tickets. Go through this last little stack here. Jazz Chisholm, which we're sleeving all his cards up. Walker Bueller. There's a Joe Adele rookie. Ryan Jeffers. And Bo Bichette. Next box up. Most of the thing says that baseball game is definitely one where you could become a super master at skill like pinball. I'll have to check into that for sure. Ricky Henderson. Got to like that one, a mess of things. That's a great looking picture right there. He's playing third base. Is that another Wade Boggs sighting? Probably not. That looks like, uh, based off of those uniforms, that picture was probably taken in the mid 80s before Boggs was ever there. I, we've been noticing Boggs coming up uh, on in the background of a lot of these photos. Greg Nettle says John P. Yep, you're probably right. Can't really tell because he's bent over, but the, the uniform tells me like early to mid 80s when Ricky was stealing like 100 plus bags easily every year. And that's the thing says, I think I've already spent 200,000 tickets on kazoos and other gifts. Yeah, they definitely, uh, they definitely get you in there. Jacob, I, they don't have baseball cards, they have TriStar, like, uh, TriStar Autograph Baseballs there, but they do not have baseball cards. They should. I mean, if they had baseball cards, that'd be awesome, but they don't as of right now. If, you, uh, if you're watching and you work for Dave & Buster's, you should mention that and give them that idea. Get some new prizes in there. That'd be pretty awesome. Will they need a commercial license from Topps Panini or Leaf? I'm not sure if they would or not. That's a good question. I don't know. Because technically, are they selling it or are they just giving it away? I, that's, I have no idea how that would work. There's Joey Bart. There's our next autograph. It's Miguel Yajure for the Yankees. That one goes to Matthew Klein. And Jeff says, for those of you going to the National, what are you going to be shopping for? That's a good question. I'll tell you what I'll be looking at. I'm going to be rating the dollar bins and 10 cent boxes if there's any. Maybe the Nat usually there's a couple guys with a good 10 cent box at the National. The problem is that those get picked over right away. Like somebody's going to come in there and literally take every rookie card out just because that's what those guys do. But I'll be looking for those, and I it's going to be really, really crowded from what I can gather. Other cards just have been really crowded. Hey, you all ready for bed? Good night. Good night, Elsa. Did you have fun? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Elsa's going to bed. Got her PJs on. It will be very, very crowded there for sure. It's Bob Gibson. Let's flip these around and see what we've got. James, she already went upstairs, I think. Yep, she's going off to bed. My little six-year-old. A lot of the kids getting home late tonight. This car looks a little warped, by the way. Can you see that warping right there? Weird. Usually have them in bed by like, uh, you know, 8, 8.30 before I even do a break. But it was a special Heather night out. James, we got six. So you and I are kind of in the same boat there. Very busy all the time. MCB says, I'll be doing the same. I live for bargains as well. Yeah, man, there's nothing better than finding, like, uh, I mean, I was just so stoked when I found that Shohei Otani rookie for 10 cents at the card show and all those other ones. Uh, I will be there the 28th to August 1st. So it's, I guess that's all, all the days there, Wednesday through Sunday, huh? We'll definitely see you there for sure. 
I'm not sure what day we're going to go yet. I'm also probably going to see if I can find a... Maybe try to find that Mike Trout in a PSA 10 2011 update. Maybe for less than $3,000. So if it's $3,200 on eBay, the way I look at that is... All right. This card's $3,200 on eBay. Right off the bat, there's 10% added for eBay fees. So I should be able to find it for at least $300 less. And then for PayPal fees and everything, that's an additional, like, 3%. So that's an additional, what, like, uh, 100 bucks or whatever. There's Key Brian Hayes. So I might be able to find one for maybe, I don't know, $2,600, $2,700. We'll see. I remember walking around the National with my brother two years ago. There's a Leody Tavares autograph right there. Lady Tavares, that one is a Texas Ranger hit for Baseball Card Outlet. Having a good one. I don't know. You taking off? Yeah. All right, Heather's taking off. I love you too. I'll, I'll text you when we're done with the break. It'll probably be a little after midnight here. Got the kiddos in bed now. She's shipping off for the evening. There's Reggie Jackson and Jemiah Jones. So we've got two boxes left. Boston HD says, since my Walmart put a limit on retail, there's still about 30 blasters of Stadium Club there left at 9 p.m. So yeah, I guess some Walmarts are stocking today. Now, is your Walmart usually stocking uh, on Wednesdays or is that just like a special thing? Tim M's in the house has got a few blasts this morning. Thanks to Eric. I'm sure thanks to you as well. Tim M, how's it going, man? Yeah, Jeff was the Jeff was the one that let me know the drop was going live. So when I found that out, I compiled his links into a document or a posting on Patreon and passed them on to you guys. Seven different drops today. A huge baseball card drop of epic proportions. Really nice that they have that much available for us. Got to wonder if that's the last big hurrah before they go back to selling in store. The rumblings are they're going to start selling in store again. DMB 1990 got tickets for Dave Matthews in Syracuse. That's awesome. I've never been to uh, them in Syracuse before. There's like a 2002 winter tour with the stop in Syracuse that I almost went to, but I think I had tickets to it and I sold them because I was already seeing them other times on that tour, but that's awesome, man. I will be seeing them also this summer at least once, confirmed. Maybe more. Here we go. Jonathan Stever, Chicago White Sox, is the next hit for Eric Ballin. So, Eric, um, thank you very much for your participation, and you have a hit there. Good old Jonathan Stever. Also, you'll get the Luis Robert with that as well, along with all your other White Sox cards. And we'll see if there's anything else in this stack. Usually for autographs, it's, it's I think it's literally been one autograph per stack. It's one on one side and one on the other side. And it's been like that from every single box across multiple cases tonight. So we got to go through and just make sure there's not any crazy one of ones. We've had one great numbered card tonight. In terms of base cards, it was an out of 50 Key Brian Hayes. Literally, our, our lowest numbered base card of the night was Key Brian Hayes, which you can't get any better than that. And wouldn't you know it, it went to Enforcer Torres, who uh, lost the Saturday showdown on the very last pack, which, I mean, that's some good karma right there. So he gracefully accepted the loss and, um, you know, just... Seems like a really nice guy. I, I mean, wasn't mad about it. I mean, that's got to be tough when you have it and it looks like you're going to take the showdown and you lose it at the very end. And um, I'm glad that he got some good luck tonight because that key Brian Hayes, probably one of the, the top, if not the second, first or second most valuable card of the night out of 50. Key Brian Hayes, rookie numbered auto. Here's our last stack. Let's see. It looks like a lot of those are upside down. Let's go with this way. See what we can find. Jackie Robinson. That looks picture looks like he was taken near maybe near the end of his career. Looks a little heavier there. Jackie didn't play all that long. I think he only played like 10 years. All the uh, abuse that he suffered um, really took a toll on him. And Jackie passed away at pretty much a young age. 
just all that harassment. If you ever watch the movie 42, you'll definitely appreciate what he had to put up with, or, or at least appreciate him more. There's a Ricky Henderson. Nice crumb card right there. Flip these over. Raphael Devers, red. Got an Adam Wainwright, Kyle Lewis, and Greg Maddox, the professor right there. Trumvirate, Jacob DeGrom. There's a Joe Adele rookie card. How much am I looking to spend on a PSA trout? Um, ideally, I'd, I'd like to find one for like $2,500. The going rate on eBay right now is about $3,100 to $3,200, I think. Uh, Landon says, thank you, Jabs family and Jeff Becker for the heads up on the target drop this morning. I was able to get some Series 2. Nice, man. Yep, whenever we get those links, whenever there's a drop, um, if Jeff lets me know. Look at this. It's an Alex Kirilov autograph for the Twins. Who's the lucky Twins owner? Joshua Craycraft. That is a great one right there. One of the top rookies from this class. An on-card auto of Alex Kirilov. One of the nicer cards of the night, so congratulations on that one, Joshua. Gotta love that. I mean, when you saw the Twins called for your name, you probably were thinking about maybe getting some Kirloff rookie cards and to have his autograph. That's pretty awesome. I think that might be the first autograph of Kirloff that we've pulled from Stadium Club. I don't think we've pulled a Key Brian Hayes yet out of this. We did pull an Alec Bohm out of the preview video. Jeff says that Kirloff is awesome. Yeah, that was a great card for sure. We've got a Vladdy right there. Big old box topper. And by the way, this is our last box in round C. And then we'll do our final round and call tonight. Break D will be coming up here in just about five minutes after I finish off this box. We already got the randomized. We did the randomization earlier at the very beginning of this live stream. It took us the first 15 minutes or so. The teams that you were paired up with are in the description. James says, a friend of mine has three PSA 10s available. Holy cow. I would definitely be interested. You have definitely have to buy away from eBay to avoid that 10%. That trap card has dropped a lot, so I feel like it might be a good time to maybe pick it up soon. His, uh, I think it was as high as five grand, but since he got hurt, it dropped down to about three grand, thirty-one hundred or so. And now with him coming back, I'm sure once he starts doing trout things again, it's going to make it maybe head back up. But I don't know. I mean, we're in a big bubble right now as well, or we're in a kind of like a correction, I should say, on the downside of the the bubble. Jacob says, do you think there'll still be a drop on Friday? I would say no. I highly doubt there'll be another drop this week. There's a Gio Urshela. This one goes to the Yankees, which is going to be Matthew Klein. Congrats on that. Rich G says, it's insane that there's still baseball cards available 12 hours later and NBA sells out in 60 seconds. Well, I'll tell you what. It's not that insane if you think about it. Why do you think basketball sells out so quick? I'll tell you why I think. There's bots that are programmed to grab all those up immediately, and the bots are programmed to not buy any baseball at all. So, like, when Target was trying to mix it up and do random drops at random times on random days, with nobody knowing about it, guess what? 20,000 blasters still sold out in about 10 seconds. Why? Because the bots don't sleep. They can check every few seconds around the clock. So, I, I, I mean, I don't know. That's, that's what I think, personally. I don't have any proof to that, but, I mean, it just seems like what I've heard from other folks thinking. Target doesn't have, like, a CAPTCHA system or anything like that. And Rich says, I looked into buying a bot. The cheapest one I could find was 2 k James says, I know two people that have bots, and they only buy basketball. So, there you go. Coming from other people that know people in the hobby or, you know, flippers or whatever. Some people have those bots and buy everything. Which really sucks. Hey, but you know what? That's that you know that's good for us baseball collectors, right? We don't have the bots ruining it for us. 
you can actually get baseball cards. Now imagine if you're an NBA or NFL collector, how tough that would be. Like, imagine having to go up against bots and like you see all this baseball drop today, like tens of thousands of blaster boxes and they're gone in 10 seconds. Wouldn't that really think, wouldn't it be awful? But the you know actual collectors can get the cards for the retail price, which is awesome. They'll eventually sell it because there's a ton of baseball collectors out there. There's Alec Bohm and Andre Scrub, autograph for the Houston Astros. Chris Mills, that's our final one of the night. Yeah, Bowman went. Um, yeah, Bowman, some people will try to flip Bowman, but usually Bowman only sells for about $35 on eBay. So the profit margins there are maybe... Um, or maybe a buck or two. <laughs> Jeff says... You better buy those PSA 10s before I do. Three more PSA 10s would get me one step closer to filing for Chapter 11. Jeff, have you let the cat out of the bag about your little secret on your channel yet? I don't want to spoil the surprise, but um, Jeff's got a really cool video coming up. I'll just say that. We're really looking forward to seeing that. And we've got a number card right here. Steven Strasburg out of 25. <laughs> Bryce, two bombs today. All of his homers have been solo. What's he have? 13 home runs, Rafi, now, and they're all solo? Bryce Harper, it's halfway through the season right now. Like, I think literally we're at the halfway point, at least on the calendar year. It's June 30th. Every one of his home runs have been solo shots. He has, I think, 23 RBIs on the year, which is crazy. Uh, Eric got a Bowman Blaster for, that's a nice rainbow out of 25, Steven Strasburg, for 32 bucks for free shipping. That's that's actually pretty good. Yep, for sure. Bryce Harper, yeah, he's been uh, hitting some dingers recently, but they're all solo shots. I mean, that's not his fault. No one's getting on base in front of him. We'll see that, uh, I mean, you could have Mike Trout on the team, and if there's no one on base, he's not going to have any RBIs either. So RBIs is not a, a super great indicator of clutchness, just like the win's not a great indicator of proficiency for starting pitching. Just ask Jacob DeGrom. He won, like, what did he win, like, nine or ten games one year and still won the Cy Young, Cy Young because the Mets literally would never score any runs for him. If he was on any other team, he probably would have won, like, 24 games. Dirk's in the house says, hit that thumbs up button, folks. Good luck to all night. Dirk, thank you very much, man. Really appreciate that. 213 likes right now. I really appreciate everyone that has hit that like button for me. In tonight's break, I hope everyone's having a very pleasant evening. I hope that you guys will check out Dirk's channel, especially if you like the card hunt series that we do here for Walmarts and all those different retail stores we always go to. Well, Dirk does it on a much larger scale. He goes all over the country looking at all different stores. It's always cool to see what different regions have available out there. So, Dirk, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out his channel. And now we're getting into our final round of Stadium Club. This, I hate when I do that. This is break D. See this big mark? Sometimes when I go to put the cap in, I miss, and then that happens. So that just happened. You'll probably see that from time to time when I'm opening cards. Uh, in a video, you might see a big black dot on my fingers. It's because I was doing packages or whatever, and I missed putting the cap back in. Try to rub it off here a little bit, and uh, that's about as good as I can do. So scrub it a little bit later on and hopefully get that off for tomorrow's video, which is Throwback Thursday. J-Rock says, how do I get into your mystery box Monday? If you have a mystery product, you can just ship it to me uh, with the mystery box Monday attention line on there, and I'll put in the attention, uh, put in the mystery box Monday hopper, and I'll open it up for you. If you'd like to purchase a spot, I reached out to Jack, and I asked for 50 of his uh, mystery packs, so I'll try to do a live stream with that because Jack's collection is awesome. And uh, he could really probably put together some great stuff for us. MCB says, I have a question for Jeff and Eric. I put a redemption in for a 2016 Topps Holiday Bryce Harper Auto out of one. It is sitting in redemption limbo. Should I just ask Topps for another card? That's a good question. Um, there's a, Obviously, that card's expired. So I don't know what Topps does with those expired redemption autos. Like, do they destroy them? Do they just let employees take them home? Do they send them elsewhere? I mean, that's that's a crazy good hit right there. And that's the thing. It says, what do you think of the hits from Absolute Blasters? I think they're, uh, honestly, that's the things. I think they're absolute trash. From a personal standpoint, I've opened a bunch of those, and I've never had any luck. And I bought 10 blasters today on Target, and I'll try it again this year. We'll open 10 blasters. I bet you get 10 crappy relics, but we'll see. 
And Brian says, can we get a link to Jeff's channel? Um, yeah, man, definitely. Jeff, if you could drop the link for yourself, please do so. MCB says, I put it back in in 2016. Oh, man, that's messed up. So you have, you've been waiting on a, a redemption for five years of a Bryce Harper one-of-one one auto. You know what? <sighs> yeah, Tops will look into it. They, they'll send you another card if they somebody stole that from the redemption department or whatever. Um, Jeff says, word on the street is Tops will try to fill your redemption if they still have, still have them. Um. I guess you could get a substitution, but I mean, Bryce Harper, like what are they going to give you? Like a Nick Senzel auto to 25 or something like that. You want to get another one of one of a superstar. And I would say, you know what? I'd like another number one, numbered one of one of a superstar and then give them like a list. So they don't like give you a Jorge Soler and be like, Oh, he's a superstar. Cause he led the league in home runs with 49 in 2019. So put a list, put like Trout on that list along with other guys that you feel are of the same ilk of Bryce Harper. Maybe like Acuna, Soto, Tatis, those kind of guys, Otani. And see if they can send you something because that's got to be disappointing, man. Waiting five years for that redemption. Obviously something happened for that not to be sent back to you. I would definitely reach out to Tops for sure. Jeff's got the link to his channel right there for you, Brian. You can check him out and... Um, that's a channel we need to get to a thousand subscribers before too long. Cause Jeff does great work. Wait till you see his uh, one of his upcoming videos. Probably probably about a week away or so from getting that film. I can't wait to see that one. That's really gonna motivate me to uh, probably pull the trigger on some cards. There's a nice Devin Williams rookie of the year. Pulled that one out of round one. This one goes to George. So, hey George, George was looking to trade his Milwaukee Brewers team spot. Because he likes the Red Sox. Well, and guess what? You've got some um, you've got some ammo right now. You just got the first auto, and it's a Devin Williams Rookie of the Year. Maybe he wants to keep it now. George, congrats on that. Got to be happy that you got that card. There's Joe Adele, Alec Bohm. Nice run of rookies there with Malty in there as well. Next stack up. Jeff says you should skip the email process, type in the letter, and send it snail mail. That could work. Yeah, Rafi, Mountcastle's been a lot better than he was. I mean, he says, I just reached 4,000 subscribers. Nice, man. Not that I care. Hey, that's still a nice number. Sometimes I'll look at some of my... Uh, you can just, like see your top subscribers like in terms of how many subscribers they have i've got some people with a ton of subscribers that don't have any content i'm like how, how do you guys do that i don't know if you make videos what kind of videos do you make james says pull me a key brian hayes rookie card um we'll see james with the with the buckos you're probably going to get at least a couple i would hope let's see what we can do for you right now we've got this box and then eight others before we call it quits for the night and then I have a midnight snack and then go to bed. Tanner Houck. All right. So, I mean, George wants to trade up for the Red Sox. He's got a, uh, he's got a hit to trade, and so does the Red Sox now. Tanner Houck, nice rookie auto right there. Tanner Houck has some crazy good breaking stuff, that's for sure. We'll see how he blossoms in the big leagues. There's Nick Madrigal, who, of course, is out for the year. Josh Chisholm Red. There's the creepy Johnny Bench card. Tony Gonsolin. Automotive videos. Oh, yeah, there's definitely like a niche for everything. There's a little corner for every type of videos. Like you could probably like, I don't even know, do whatever, like ride your bike through the forest or whatever and get a whole bunch of like cyclists watching your stuff. There's just so many different things that people are interested in. which is uh, one of the cool things about YouTube, for sure. If you make videos about anything uh, and you're passionate about it and you're regular about it, then people will find you that have that common interest and watch your stuff. So box number one from Break D is in the books. Two autographs, Tanner Houck and Devin Williams. <laughs> Alan says, you're right, that bench card is pretty creepy. Yeah, someone else pointed that out. I forget who it was. 
here is the next round. We've got Shohei in there. Beck says, I know that Cedric Mullins was a nuisance for too many autos in 2019, but is he a sleepable rookie now? Yes, I am actually buying Cedric Mullins rookie cards whenever I find them. 10 cent box with 2019 cards in it. Look out. I'm pulling all the Cedric Mullins out of there. Uh, Seikamek says, can we still enter this break? No, this one's sold out. It sold out maybe about two hours before we went live. I just don't have any more rounds to add to this. I only had 40 stadium club flat, or um, hobby boxes left. Next break coming up for us live will be, uh, I think I have Leaf Trinity coming, which I usually don't do Leaf, but I did buy a case of it. So I've got a 12 box Leaf Trinity break that we can do for you guys on Patreon. Um, we can, I think, I'm, I think it comes out this Friday. So that might be the next break and uh, Saturday showdown. I still haven't decided what we want. Maybe I'll put a, uh, a poll up on Patreon and you can pick. We can either do select. I've got a case of absolute and I've got a case of uh, jumbo for series two. Maybe we'll let you choose. That'd be a good idea. I'll just put a little poll up there with those three choices. And uh, then we'll see. Personally, uh, Stadium Club would not be an option for a Saturday show. And there's zero um, numbered cards in this set virtually. And uh, Anoli Paredes is for the Houston Astros. Anthony Gravina, congratulations. Nice one right there. Jeff says, it's a little surprising. Tops chose Yelich for the cover boy with Stadium Club. He's had a rough 12 months. Yeah, he's had a rough two years, really, I guess. Um, terrible 2020 season and uh, bad 2021 season as well. His... I think his slugging percentage in 2021 is like 300-something. It's just super low, and he's been awful. Um, man, so I feel bad for anyone that paid top dollar for Christian Yelich PSA 10s and like at the beginning of 2020 not realizing the, the uh, struggles that were ahead for him. And Max says, I got an Austin Cox Bowman first out of 99 for autograph from my monthly Patreon box. Thanks for the luck, Jabs. Max, awesome, man. Congrats on that. Good stuff right there. I don't know too much about him, but anytime you get a, a first Bowman auto, it's a good day. There's a Geo out of 50. Our second blue foil of the night. Thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. I hope that you guys can check out Max's channel. Tavis is yelling on base percentage is 400, so he's not terrible. Yikes. If his slugging percentage is under 400, I would consider that to be terrible, especially for somebody on a $187 million contract. I'm going to have to disagree. Bring up Christian Yelich's stats and uh, match it up to what he was capable of in his prime, so to speak, or two years ago, or when he was quote-unquote good. And uh, I would consider that to be awful. But that's just me personally. Here's our next stack. I'm hoping that Christian Yelich turns it around. How much is a 2019 Heritage Tatis worth? Uh, PSA 10, probably about 125 bucks or so, 150 bucks, somewhere in there. Homie says, your baseball knowledge amazes my co-worker me. Thanks, man. I, like I said, I kind of have a little bit of an advantage that I hate all other sports, so I completely tune out Football, baseball, and or not, not football, not baseball. Football, hockey, and basketball. So the only thing coming in here is anything baseball that gets through. There's Zach Birdie for the Chicago White Sox. That's for Evan Lomrent. So Evan, congratulations on that one. You got that hit. Tony says, imagine how rich you'd be if you bought Trout rookies back in 2011, like you're doing with Robert now. Yeah, I've felt like um, the past week or two, ever since I saw a Silver Jackify video about the just insane basement low price of Luis Robert PSA 9s for $15. When I saw that, it started a trend of me buying like one of those a day. And those sell, literally, so they sell for like 15 bucks. It's crazy. And there's, uh, there seems to be like a huge inventory of them as well. Everybody's getting that car graded, which I mean, might not be a good thing if there's so many out there. Might not quite recover to the heights that we would want it to, but I think that Luis Roberts is going to be a star, and I would not be surprised if he's right up there in another year or two with the talks of the, like this guy. Like right now, we talk about like Vladdy, Tatis, Acuna, Soto, 
Otani, those are like the big stars, even though Soto's been not quite himself this year. I would say Soto's had a disappointing season in 357. He was from the Chicago area. So Roberts is the real deal. Yeah, he's still really young. I mean, had had a uh What's hurt Roberts so far? Luis Robert. Well, um he had a bad month of September, which is like half the season. So his average dropped to 233. So 2021 comes around. He's hitting like 321 with one home run. Then he like tears his hamstring. And he's out for like the whole season. So he hasn't really been able to show what he's capable of yet. So, I, I mean, I think if you see him in a full season, I believe he could easily hit you. Like, I don't know if he's going to be like a 320 hitter in his career. I, I doubt that. I think he's probably going to be like a maybe a 270 type hitter. But I think he's going to hit you like 35 home runs a year, something like that. I think he's got a lot of power. He's a speedy guy. I would not be surprised if he's able to steal 30 bases. Hopefully he comes back completely healthy and doesn't have any lingering effects from that hamstring. But I think he's uh, I think he's got star potential all over him. So if I can buy a PSA 9 of somebody that I think is going to be a major star for 15 bucks, I'm going to do it every day. I don't, I don't go overboard and like bid on every PSA 9 card, but I pick out like one a day and I'm like, I just look at it. And then... I put a $15 bid on it. If I win it, I win it. If I don't, I don't. Some days I don't win it. I might go for like 17 or 18, but... That's the card that I'm zeroing in on. And there's some other cards you can zero in as well. Like Christian Yelich is... Like we said, he's terrible right now. Um, maybe he's one that might bounce back. His cards have gone down a bit. Juan Soto cards have gone down a whole lot. A whole lot. He might be one that you want to pick up. It's always good to buy a low, that's for sure. Avery says, I was watching Dodger Films pack open a video with the Adonis Rookie Auto and that you <laughs> and you commented on and he didn't even sleeve it up. <laughs> that's pretty funny. There's Shogo. That's a nice one right there. Cincinnati Reds, Squiggy Sells. Hey, you got the Reds twice, Squiggy, somehow. You got them to break A and D. And you have, I think, two Shogos to your ledger right now, which is pretty nice. Yeah, Dodger Films probably just flicked that one aside. I'll tell you what, uh, honestly, like, um, I'm going to sleeve up any autograph, but to Dodger Films credit, Adolis Garcia was a nobody back then. Uh, the Cardinals have had a, had some bad luck just letting some some of these guys just go, like Adolis Garcia leaves the Cardinals and uh, ends up being, he was the home run leader there for a little while with 20 until he got passed up by Vladdy kind of cooled off a bit. I don't think he's hit too many recently. Heather says she's home. Glad that you made it home, Heather. Looks like all the kids had a great time with the drive, and that was an awesome idea. Um, thank you very much for, for doing that for them. And then next time, um, we're going to have to go see a, a movie. Hopefully they, they play more adult-type movies. Heather says, did you ask these people if they've ever heard of Dilly Dilly? No, I don't think I have. So Heather's been um, going to a lot of tournaments for baseball, and she's watched a lot of baseball, and there's been several umpires using the term dilly-dilly when they strike somebody out. Like, instead of saying, like, strike three, they just say dilly-dilly, and that's that's it. Heather, I wish you were still here. We could bring your phone out and show them the, the replay. Uh, Sam Sterling says, it is a Bud Light commercial. So <laughs> I guess they're borrowing that... Um, from Bud Light commercials. But yeah, um, I, I'd never heard of that either. As you guys know, I don't have TV. <laughs> I haven't watched TV in years. How this is interesting. Eh? Heather showed me the replay, and the first time he said it, because she was recording all of uh, Robbie, her son's strikeouts, because he's a up-and-coming phenom pitcher, nine-year-old, and first strikeout... I'm part of yells, dilly dilly, and Heather's like, what? What do you say? All the parents are like, what? What's that mean? There's Key Brian Hayes. There you go. So, James, you wanted Key Brian. There's one of them for you. Yadier yeah, Molina, nice gold. Nothing on the back. Not numbered, I mean. And Jonathan Stever comes out again. This one is for the White Sox. White Sox, Evan Lomrentz. 
Baseball card says, the strikeout call of people with bad taste in beer is what it is. Um, I just wonder if it was a thing before the beer commercial. I have no idea if they got that from somebody else, if that was something before the beer commercial, or if the beer commercial started the trend. Jazz Chisholm right there into the sleeve pile for the Marlins. Got the Stever autograph out of this stack, so nothing else crazy probably in here. Usually just a base card, a bunch of base cards, and maybe some foils. Maybe a couple of those Stadium Club greats. That will do it for that stack. On to the next box. We're down to seven boxes left on the night. That means we'll be here for about another 35 minutes. It's about five minutes a box. Hummy G, I don't have cable, so I can't. I watch replays of stuff. So I watch the highlights and stuff, but I am not able to sit and watch a baseball game because I do not have cable. I can watch some like condensed games, like five-minute highlights. Stay up to date watching uh, channels like Fuzzy and John Boy, and then just uh, the MLB at Bat app, or I guess they just call it MLB app now, is kind of like my go-to. Just scroll through all the games, look at the box scores, much the same like I used to when I was a kid. And with the newspaper every morning, I used to love that. First thing I would do is grab my mixer bowl, which for cereal, I used to eat cereal out of like a mixer bowl that was like a bowl that was like, it would probably take up the whole screen. My brother could probably tell you about it if he remembers it. And I'd like fill it up with Cheerios and like I'd take a, a gallon of milk and pour half the gallon in there. And then I would just eat that bowl of cereal for like the next 20 minutes and just read all the box scores. Back then, the newspapers used to have like a deadline of like uh, 1 or 2 a.m. So like even like you'd get a lot of the uh, late scores. Nowadays, newspapers are pretty much dead. They like don't even have um, – my parents for some reason still get the paper. And like I, if I got to look at it, they don't even have the Pirates box scores in there. If the game ends like after like 9.30 at night, they, it's like too late for them to get the box score in. So I personally, when I was uh, a younger – teacher. I used to get the paper delivered to my house all the time, uh, but I stopped that years ago. Just, uh, I mean, really the only thing I would need the paper for anyway is just to read the sports section. Jeff says, please help out MCB. You can subscribe to him right there. Jeff, thanks very much for the link. MCB, great channel. Casey Mai is Chrome. Two Hayes for you right now, James. Yep, you got two of them. There's Alec Bohm. That's off to a good story. You got one right out of the first box, which it seems like Key Brian hasn't been coming out of these packs too much. So maybe you've got two through, what, four boxes right now or so? So just maybe you'll get... Uh, maybe you get... It'd be nice if you could find five, six of these. We'll see. Brian says cable isn't really worth it these days. Yeah. Like, why would I pay $130 a month for basically just to watch one channel? And I mean, I'm pretty busy. So a lot of times I don't even have time to sit down and watch it with the, you know, having the kiddos half the time and all the, the stuff that I do for the YouTube channel. Just It's just easier to uh, catch up when I'm able to with the MLB app. Just watch the highlights there and look at the box scores there. We've got Victor Gonzalez right there. Victor Gonzalez. That one goes to the Dodgers. Nice bullpen arm there for Jack Holland. Brian says, everyone I know is canceling cable. Yeah, I cut the cord years ago. I think the last time I had cable was probably... Definitely didn't have it in this house that I bought. Um, so probably at least five years that I haven't had cable. Bernard Jarvis with a dollar super chat. Bernard, thank you very much. I really appreciate that, man. Thanks for the support tonight. Hope you're enjoying this break. Hope we can find some good stuff to entertain you the rest of the way. We have six boxes left. There's an Evan White for the Mariners. That is going to Jordan Sheenberger. So, Jordan, you've got an Evan White. Nice young rookie right there. Has a lot of power potential. 
Hey, Trey Turner, Mr. Cycle. Trey Turner, nice star. Ike says, as a starving artist, I have no cable, but I have access to a lot of my friends' logins. True story. That's one way you could go about it. Yeah, that's true. Share the, the logins. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people do that. We have six boxes left. I don't think it's legal, but... I do know of people that do that as well, for sure. Jackie Robinson. No, I guess not all box toppers can be autographed. There's no way that Jackie could have signed that one, obviously. But I would love to find a Willie Mays autographed box topper in one of these. Jonathan said he's heading out to bed. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Almost midnight here on the East Coast. 11.55. Probably got another half an hour or so before we wrap things up. Stadium Club. Random team break. Lots of sorting in my future over the next week. Get these all sorted out. Team bagged up, sleeved up, top loaded up, and put on the shelves, and we'll get these with your Patreon packages. MTV says it's illegal if you have a loose definition of family. That's true. Joey Bart, Ahmed Rosario. Brian says, check out my friend's baseball card store in Union over 40 years. Attack of the baseball cards. I don't know if Heather's watching right now. Heather, if we got to New Jersey, we got to go to Attack of the Baseball Cards. I'm sure there's a lot of card stores in New Jersey. That's like a, that's probably a, a really potentially great place that we could go. Like says, his friends are his family. Yeah, you're, you're okay then. Here comes a Garrett Cole refractor. That's a nice one. We'll see how Garrett Cole pitches now without the sticky stuff since they're cracking down on that. That's going to be really interesting since, um, you know, a lot of his success came with the Astros when obviously the Astros had something that they were using because Garrett Cole's spin rate increased by like three, four hundred rpms and that's like an unheard of increase like you don't just start you don't just add 300 uh, rpms to your spin rate in one season from the pirates to the, the astros he was obviously he found something in houston and uh that was obviously corroborated when uh text messages from garrett cole to the forget his name the angels clubhouse attendant garrett cole asking him for a sticky substance because I guess the Angels attendant had like the best stuff out there right now. But yeah, umpires are out there checking. They are cracking down. And we've seen pitchers like Garrett Cole. We've seen Corbin Burns and a lot of those guys. We've seen their spin rates fall off. Not able to spin the ball so much without so much stickiness to your hand, but. We'll see. I guess if you can still throw like 99, 100 miles an hour like Cole and still spot your, your fastball and set up your breaking stuff, you still should be pretty darn successful. I saw that Cole got beat around by the um, Red Sox on, was that Sunday? There's Evan White again for the uh, Seattle Mariners. Jordan, you got two Evan White autos to your name so far. Garrett Cole gave up five runs in five innings. I think he gave up three homers, and his earned run average jumped up to 266 on Sunday. I did see that. Not good news for Cole. Anytime you give up five runs, especially when your team's in the process of being swept by the Red Sox, it's not a good day. Yankees really looking not too good. The Luis Patino, so two autographs in that sack. I think we may have had a three autograph box right there. That's a San Diego Padres hit. That goes to Vince Tucci. So Vince, congratulations on that. I think that was a bonus hit, believe it or not. But yeah, Yankees are just slightly a few games over 500 right now. A lot of people calling for Aaron Boone to get dismissed. But I mean, what did you expect when you have Jameson Tyone as like your second or third best starting pitcher? I mean... I don't know. I don't think the Yankees are going to make the playoffs this year. What do you guys think? 
I mean, basically, I feel like the Yankees, to get into the playoffs, have to win their division. And I don't know if they're going to be able to beat the uh, the Rays, the Red Sox, and the Blue Jays. That's a, a lot of good teams right there. You got some other teams that are just doing great, like the uh, the A's and the Astros. One of those two teams are going to be a wild card team. Robert says, thanks for the entertaining night, Eric. I just missed a box this time. Hopefully I find some in the wild. Robert, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'll tell you what, Robert, there's still some available on um, Target. If you go over to Patreon, I, have, I linked all seven drops today. Now, the World's Greatest Card Chase and Bowman Blasters are sold out, but if you click on the other links to, like, Series 2 and Absolute Blasters, you can pick up 10 blasters for $19.99 apiece just by following those links. It's like two postings down. I posted it this morning during the drop. So check that out. Thank you very much for the Super Chat, Robert. I really appreciate that. Hopefully, you do find some stuff in the wild, but I think um, if it was me, and I did do this, I ended up buying the max of everything I could this morning. And I'll, I'll still go out and look in the wild this weekend, see if I can find some, maybe bring you guys a Walmart opening video. Maybe we'll find some Stadium Club and Absolute Blasters. And we have the hit in the first pack. It's a Zach McKinstry. Um, Mike says, Braves beat Jacob DeGrom tomorrow after beating the Mets 20 to nothing. We'll see. Jacob DeGrom has, a, what, an 0 run average right now. McKinstry goes to the uh, Dodgers. Jack Holland. I will be. I think that Jacob Degrom starts are starting to be must see. He's at another level right now. An 0.69 and run average is crazy, absolutely crazy, and it's the halfway point of the season. We'll see if he can keep it up. Now, if he just has one bad start, it's going to wreck his earned run average for sure, which is pretty crazy. Like he has to basically be perfect for the whole year to be able to beat Bob Gibson's. Modern earned run average record of 1.112 that he set in 1968. That year, um, after Gibson's dominant year, they even lowered the mound to make it a little more fair because the hitters were just getting blown away in 68 by Gibson and Denny McLean and everybody else. Jeff's got the link right there. If you want to check out Series 2 hangers, they've got bundles of them. You can get two hangers for 20 bucks. That's $10 a piece. That's cheaper than you can get them for at Walmart. They're eleven ninety eight a piece at Walmart. So you can save. Actually, you save yourself four dollars over the, uh, the you know the cost of two hangers if you get them from Target. I would definitely suggest doing that. A lot of people do love the hangers. I love the hangers as well. You get sixty-seven cards for ten bucks, as opposed to ninety-nine cards for twenty bucks. I mean, you can do the math in your head really quick, right? Um, you're getting twenty-five percent more cards there, basically, or almost something like that. Basically, you're getting for the price. What's 67 times two? 134? You're getting 35 extra cards there for free if you buy two hangers. Gotta love that deal. That's like a full, like, two and a half packs, three packs of cards worth. All right, this is the next stack of box number five of break d here's a nice one jacob de grom refractor going to the braves james reynolds very nice cj says de grom is killing it for sure but he typically does not go more than five innings yeah they are really throttling his pitch count i i look at the box scores of de grom that's a nice one right there trevor rogers from the marlins john torkowski getting this one hope i'm saying your name right I apologize if I don't. I don't know if that F is silent or not. But, John, congratulations on that one. But a lot of times, DeGrom will pitch like six innings, give up like one hit, zero runs. And I look at the pitch count. It's like 71 pitches. I'm like, all right. He could have easily probably gone a complete game on like 95 pitches. Yeah, they're really um, – I mean, DeGrom's had a little bit of injury – issues this year with the oblique and everything and i think maybe the shoulder was a little sore we'll see they're definitely trying to keep him healthy for the playoff mets are um planning on going to the playoffs this year obviously and maybe they'll just unleash him in the playoffs and close game 
I mean, DeGrom basically has to do everything because whenever the Mets play and DeGrom's on the mound, they just don't score any runs. So DeGrom has to, like, do all the offense as well. Brian says, thank you, Jeff. I really enjoy watching your breaks before bed. It really relaxes me. Thank you very much, Brian. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that the, the breaks help wind you down for the day. So there's nothing else in this stack. So we have four boxes left. That's about 20 minutes worth of boxes left to go. Let's move my computer off to the side so I can start a new row here for break D. Put my letter D on this the line there. <laughs> Connor says, Jacob DeGrom is the New York Mets. Yeah, where would they be without DeGrom? James says, they really need to watch his health. Yeah, you, you really want to have him in the playoffs. I mean, their other starters are doing well, for sure. I mean, Marcus Stroman's having a great season. But the Mets without DeGrom are just not the same team. Willie Mays is the box topper. Sam says, a little late break spiciness. That would be nice. Spice it up here a little bit. We've got eight autographs left for you as we close the break out here tonight. Let's see if we can find some uh, big time autos here. First stack up. Let's see what we've got going on. Victor Robles making the jumping catch at the wall, which Stadium Club probably included like at least 20 different guys making leaping catches at the wall this year, it seems like. Which always is a good picture. Altuve's been having a great season with like, what, 17 dingers or so. Not bad for someone that's five foot four, or whatever he is. I think he's listed at 5'6", but he's really got to be like 5'4". I think everybody knows that. There's some guys out there that just really like to heighten themselves. Uh, Craig Kimbrell's another notorious one. I think he's listed at like 5'11 or 6 feet tall when he's clearly like 5'7. <laughs> like, um, there'll be pictures of him standing next to Mookie Betts and he's like shorter than Mookie Betts. There's Alec Bohm. MCB says, Eric, did you see that PayPal is changing its pricing? I did not. Can you explain a little bit to me? I know their pricing is like, was it's 35 cents plus 2.9%, right? Something like that. How's that, uh, how's it going to change? I'm interested to know. Is it going to be like a tiered approach where they charge you less for like the higher purchases or I, I don't know. Hopefully it's a change for the better, but usually when companies make changes, it's, you know, in the long run, it benefits them more. So MCB says fees are changing to be higher. That's awful. How much higher? Cameron says, set up an account on Humble, lower fees. Um, the problem is, I don't know if anyone else has Humble, but everybody can pretty much have a PayPal. I don't know, maybe I should. Here we go with the next stack. Let's see who the autograph is going to be this round. Nice picture of Dylan Bundy. I wonder if Stadium Club is going to feature him puking on the card next year. Wouldn't that be a troll job by Tops? It's going to be Andres Jimenez in his Mets uniform. We've pulled this card at least two times, maybe three times tonight. Going to the Mets, which is Michael Hafey, it looks like. And Jake says it's because they lost all the eBay business. Yeah, that would be a that would probably be billions of uh, gross revenue that they can't so-called tax anymore, for sure. I'm surprised they didn't... Um, Come to an agreement with eBay. eBay now doing their own payment um, thing there. I'll have to see how much higher it's going to be. Hopefully it's not too much. There's an Andy Young. This one going to the Diamondbacks, which is Jacob Cavanaugh. Jacob, congratulations. James says, I think you're going to pull a key Brian Hayes auto in box number nine. All right. That's coming up in two boxes. So we'll be there in the next five to ten minutes. We'll see if you're right. I hope we pull a key Brian Hayes on it. We haven't found one yet. <laughs> Chan says, you're right, Jabs. Craig is listed at six feet and Mookie's at 5'9". Literally, they're the same height in every picture. 
Yeah. Craig Kimbrell, he's like 5'7". Like, I'm so I don't even think Mookie Betts is 5'9". Um, Mookie Betts might be like 5'8", 5'7". So Craig Kimbrell's listed at 6 feet tall. He's got to be like 5'7". Take a look at any picture of Betts and Kimbrell standing together and like Kimbrell's either the same height or shorter. It's uh, it's just kind of funny how guys will heighten. They do, I guess they do that in like basketball, especially like basketball is known for that. Like they'll just add two, three inches on everyone's height just to be more intimidating. There's a Derek Jeter, like high schools, especially like they'll list them in the program. Like someone will be like listed at six six, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm taller than you, and I'm six four. Like what's up with that? I think Kimbrel might be the most egregious one that I know of. Have I pulled any box topper autos yet? Tony, we did pull one. I think it was break C. It was a Davy Cruz numbered out of 10. I think all the box toppers are hand numbered out of 10. And yeah, we pulled Davy Cruz on box topper auto. That was the only one that we've pulled, and we've probably opened over 100 boxes now. And Jeff's got the link to the, the PayPal fees. I'll have to check that out later. I don't want to click on that now because I'm afraid it would take me away from the stream. And I would not be able to return. There's a Sterling Marte, 30 years stamped card. Get that one sleeved up because those ones are kind of tough to find. They're not numbered or anything, but since we've only found two of those tonight in 40 boxes, you got to think that they might have some extra... Added value. I've got a refractor coming up here. If we can ever get these cards separated. There's Casey Mize. We'll sleeve that one up. Jazz Chisholm right there. And nice Chipper Jones refractor chrome. I'm sure we'll see Stadium Club chrome come out once again. They had their inaugural lease last year in November. Pretty successful set. I think a lot of people like that. There's Jazz Chisholm. They didn't make too much of it, so it sold out pretty quickly, and we never saw it again. So I bet that's back. I can't remember. Was it just one autograph per box? Remember they had Stadium Club Chrome? They did, they did like Allen and Ginter Chrome, and there wasn't even an autograph in Allen and Ginter Chrome last year. I think that might have been one of the worst sets of the year. Was it? What was that? Allen and Ginter, there's like no autographs anywhere. I think I opened like... A hundred boxes of it and didn't find like a single autograph. I have to think back to that now. It was a very forgettable set. Eric says, how much are Bowman Chrome Blasters usually? I think they're usually about 40 bucks at Walmart. $39.99 or something like that. Those will be coming out sometime over the next couple months. I like Bowman Chrome. That's a nice set. I'll be looking forward to those hobby boxes. Monster says target drop today. Yeah, they've had seven different releases today for baseball. And if you look over on Patreon, I posted all those direct links to all the different products that they um, dropped. And I think five of them are still up. And look at this. A really nice hit right there. Your Don Alvarez on-card autograph for the Astros. That one goes to Anthony Gravina. So, Anthony, that's um, one of the better Astros hits you can pull right there. Your Don Alvarez... As of yesterday, he was hitting 299, one of the few players that's right around that 300 mark with all the averages being down this year. Jordan Alvarez is a pure hitter. I think he's going to be uh, I think he's going to be a major star. So, we talk about all these other great rookies and by the way, it's numbered out of 25 on the back. Very nice one right there out of 25, Jordan Alvarez. Mesa Thing says, I think they um, ran all that extra chrome as a test run after fixing their machines. Earlier releases were rampant with machine damages. Maybe. That's true. Sam says, great auto. I don't even think I've seen a Yordan base auto yet. <laughs> and Brand just Brand says, uh, I swear Jabs always find those Yordan autos. Yep. Good old Yordy. I like finding his cards. I'm a big fan of him. You might say, wait a minute, you hate the Astros. Look at this, another autograph. So it's a, I think it's a triple autograph pack. Santiago Espinal for the Blue Jays. That's for Ismael Alicia. And Ismael, that's your first break ever. I think he said our first live break. We did have an unpaid spot. And um, Ismael picked it up and he got the Blue Jays. And now you have an autograph. So that's pretty cool, man, getting an auto in your first break. 
congrats on that one. He's not a huge name right now, but as you know, with some of the rookies, it might take them a year or two or three before they really break through. Just ask guys like Cedric Mullins and Randy Rosarena took a little while before he caught on with the Rays at the end of last year. So congrats, man. And now we're on to box number nine. This is the box that uh, James predicted there would be a key Brian Hayes auto out of. So let's see if he's right. We've got this and one more. We've got about 10 minutes left with you guys tonight before we wrap things up. For our final two boxes, a nice Luis Robert box topper for our White Sox owner. And here we go, 16 packs. 32 total packs left before we say goodnight. And then tomorrow we'll have Throwback Thursday for you. It's going to be a... It's like a vintage repack box. I've never opened before. Rafi says, when's Pro Debut dropping? I don't know. It usually comes out in June, but it's been pushed back, according to Matthew. It's pushed back to August 13th. So that's probably because I think the draft is a little bit later this year. So I don't know. We'll see it soon. A lot of people like that matted finish on those Pro Debut cards. I think it's a pretty nice set. I think the Hobby Boxers are usually pretty cheap. What, like 60 bucks for a hobby box or something like that? I can't remember the exact price, but it's affordable. Here we go. Let's see if we find that Key Brian Hayes auto that was promised. Ravi says, Mick Bell is going to be a stud for the Phillies. Yeah, he could be. He's one of the top cards out of Bowman. Tariq Scooball, that's not a bad one for the Tigers. Nicholas L., Tariq Scooball. So we've got three autographs left to find. One more autograph this box. James is hoping for Key Brian Hayes. We'll see if he comes out here. There he is, another Key Brian. It's not his autograph, though. So add that to your other base Key Brian's. And there's a nice Mike Trout red. Got a Chrome card coming up. It's going to be Dalton Varsho making a leaping catch at the fence. Roger Clemens, 91 tops design. Christian Pache making a sliding catch right there. He's known for his slick fielding out there. And we have our next stack. So, James, you called a Key Brian Hayes auto. You got this stack's going to have to deliver. If you call it, that would be pretty crazy considering we haven't found one yet in uh, like over 100 boxes of opening of Stadium Club. That would be a legendary call. There's Jordan at the back of that stack. Oh, that Hank Aaron um, black and white card is pretty nice. Get that one sleeved up. All right, let's see what we've got. There's Kirby Puckett, Thurman Munson, Joey Bart. Oh, there's our autograph. It's Estevan Florial. That one goes to our Yankees owner, which is Todd. We have seen some boxes with three autographs. If you pull an auto early in the stack, sometimes that's good news. That it means that you might have an auto later. So we'll see if we get a third auto. It's probably happened a few times tonight. Most recently, it was in that Jordan Alvarez box. That was a three autograph box as well, I believe. Well, James... Looks like we're running out of time here to find it. So you got one box left. At least you have a bunch of... There's a nice beam team, Shohei Otani Red, which I can't remember if it's the red or the blacks, which are really, really rare beam team cards. We'll sleeve that one up for sure. That one actually might be a, a one that we need to top load just because it's so tough to find those red beam team cards. I think somebody said they were one in every 10 cases. First one that we found all night. So there's Schwarby with the Nationals. And that will do it for that box. So we are down to the last box of the night. Thank you very much for being here, everybody, and hanging out. Hopefully everybody has had a nice Wednesday. No new release today. It looks like the next new release is going to be Leaf Trinity. Since Leaf is not a very popular product, it's not a mainstream product, I only ordered one case of it. We'll just give it a go and see what it's like. And then um, the next big release is going to be Museum Collection, which is July 7th. So... We'll probably do a couple other uh, breaks here and there before July 7th just to uh, you know keep you guys entertained, give you something to watch live once or twice a week. I'll um, probably throw up a poll for Saturday Showdown 
for this week, and you can choose between, there's a nice Vladdy box topper for each mail. Congratulations on that one. Probably choose between select top series two jumbos and absolute. I've got one case of absolute. I've got four cases of select, and I've got about four cases of series two jumbos left over. And um, we'll put the Jabs family boxes together soon too. Get some select in there. Get some stadium club in there. Get some series two jumbos in there probably. A lot of uh, recent releases be put, will be put in there. All right, so. We got two autographs left. Let's see if we can finish this thing off with a, a bang here. James says, please remember to invoice me for select. I'll try to, man. Um, if I don't get it in tonight because I'm going to go and I think my nine-year-old daughter is still up. I still hear the TV. And if she's not, she's fell asleep on the couch. I'm going to have to carry her upstairs and get her all tucked in. So if I forget, please, uh, whenever the next time, just, just keep requesting it and I'll get it then. Dalton Vars show for the Arizona Diamondbacks. That one is for Jacob Cavanaugh. So Jacob, congratulations on that one. We've got one hit left. Who's going to be the final autograph of the night? I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess Mitchell White, just because we haven't had him yet, and he seems to be coming out of a lot of products recently. 27 out of 50. Tyler Stevenson, that's a nice rookie hit right there. We'll see what we've got in the last stack. There's a nice Garrett Cole Chrome card for the Yankees. I think we pulled that card twice this round, maybe, in a Chrome variation. <laughs> Sam says, Jordan Yamamoto. We shall see. There's show. Hey, here it is. Uh, that's the thing. says, have you seen an auto on the MasterCard logo? That would be awesome. Uh, yeah, that Will Myers card, that is... An interesting card for sure. I'm almost wondering if MasterCard like threw some money tops away and said, hey, can you use this photo? Or somehow find a photo with our logo in it out there. And this pack feels kind of thin. One, two, we got a five card pack right here. Look at that. Just wanted to show that. Maybe it's a six. It's supposed to be eight cards per pack. Might as well show that off right now little mini pack there, but I think one of the other packs felt thicker. I'd be mad if you went to the card store and got ripped off by a card or two. Jeb's calling Ian Anderson. Not a bad choice. All right, let's see who we've got. Final autograph. Who is it going to be? Uh, you know what? I think I want to change my pick. I'm going to pick that Ramirez guy. Was it Johan Ramirez? We found two of his autos already. I feel like Stadium Club might love him. I'm going to pick Ramirez. I think his name is Johan Ramirez. No, it's Juan gone again. Okay, so this was the first autograph of the night, and now it's the last one of the night. So that's, I guess, it comes full circle. Juan Gonzalez for Charles Weber. So congratulations on that one. Kind of weird. We didn't find this card at all in our first five cases of Stadium Club, and now we found it three times tonight. That looks to be the final autograph. We'll see if there's a third autograph in here. Sometimes that happens, but I'm not really expecting it yeah we'll take that one Juan Gonzalez nice major star there of the 90s got a Boba Chet triumvirate insert card for the Blue Jays Gary says I just sent you a mystery box Monday package it's pretty awesome I can't wait to open it up thank you very much we'll get that in there next mystery box Monday or the next one depending on how much we have to open I usually like to keep it to like 20 minutes of video I will open that up, and I look forward to checking it out. So thank you very much, and thank you to everybody that spent this evening in the break tonight as we look at our last few cards. Last card of the night is going to be a Trevor Story. So, again, thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed this break. Our next live stream will likely – I think we got a mini break coming up of uh, Leaf Trinity, which comes out on Friday. Um, I've only got 12 boxes of that. And then on Saturday, we'll be live again, likely. I'll let you guys vote on Patreon for which box you want me to do. I can do one case of Absolute. I could do up to four cases of Select. And those will be broken up like each winner will get a uh, us case. It won't be like one winner for all four cases if we would do that many. 
just like we did in recent uh, rounds of that. Uh, but I'll let you guys pick on Patreon. If you'd like to sign up on Patreon, there's a link down below and also at the top of the live chat. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you all tomorrow for Throwback Thursday. We are uh, an, we're opening a vintage repack box. Very interested to see what this is all about. Somebody sent it in for a review, and uh, we'll check it out and see if it's any good. So join us for that. hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday night, and I will see you all tomorrow for Throwback Thursday.